Hello, everybody! Hello, 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 hello! How's it going? Hi. How's it going? How's it going? Welcome to another gorgeous interview. We are a lovely guest, Monsling Hawk, the coolest and the cutest exorcist of all Zeta Cooney. And here I am, joined together by the most amazing, the great. Would you like to go ahead and introduce yourself, good sir? Yeah, yeah. Wait, who are you again? My name is Monsling Haka. Oh, good to meet you. Uh, hi, I'm Crimson Ruse. Uh, Elysium's greatest monster hunter and your least favorite idol. And I'm here for charity work, clearly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it made me really happy whenever you responded to my... Because, you know, you have a lot of fans. You have a lot of, like, definitely a lot of, like, correspondence. And I just sent out, like, you know, a little a little letter to <laughs> big old Crimson Ruse. And I'm like, Crimson Ruse, I am your biggest fan. You should well, I mean... me the honor to appear on my... Am I, am I interview? I would be really happy. And the fact that I had to speak to your manager, and your manager told me to go uh, kick rocks, and then I had to do it again. But this time, I had to hold the receiver hostage and be like, if you enjoy my interview, there will be no more receiver. That was very beautiful. The way you said yes, I will do it with no repercussions and no charges pressed was very nice. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I will charge your bank account, but no, like, legal charges. Don't worry about that. Oh, um, okay, 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 okay. I didn't really care about the Rosader, but, you know, like, a hostage situation means I can negotiate better. <laughs> 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 it's a Christmas miracle, everybody. Anyway, hi, hi. Thanks for having me. Uh, oh, Haka Senpai. Wow. Or, oh, look at... He's calling me Senpai. Yeah? <laughs> You're so cute. You're all big. <laughs> You're all big, but you call me senpai. That means I have the high ground here. I mean, if we <laughs> kick off your little clogs, maybe not. But uh, hey, then how are you going to tap dance for us? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Those are my rubber dowdies. You don't have to be mean. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you just said to me about your Nike kicks, but yeah, same. Yes, <laughs> what, <laughs> dude? <laughs> Buckle my shoe. Yeah, we had to get it out of the way at least once. <laughs> I fucking hate you, dude. The I way know. you fucking, like, you, <laughs> you imprinted that in my brain the other fucking day. And I, I just I just keep, like, stimming. I'm like, one, two. <laughs> you know what's been stuck in my head lately? Yeah. Since, like, my last stream is this, this other TikTok audio I keep seeing around where it's like, <laughs> you're you're not ascending to godhood. You're just dehydrated. And the other guy's like, <laughs> out of my way, gay boy. I'm about to liberate myself from this mortal shell. And then he like falls down. He's like, <laughs> up it all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the one that I've been seeing is like, huh, I had enough of your twist of fate, but now, man. Butt cheek. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. I'm not pegable anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was so fucking good. Oh, my God. Wow. Dude, <clears throat> that's what I love about us. We just have like a lot of like shit posts in our brain. Yeah, yeah. I'm full of them. <laughs> we All the way to the top. We consume so much like fucking like shit posts in the internet that we make our whole personality like a, like a reference to it. And I, I love mm. that. That's what makes you beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. That is what makes me beautiful. I wish you consumed more, and then you might be beautiful yourself. No, dude, I have to keep it at a, at a very minimum because, like, you know, I'm already cute. If I consume more, I get bigger, uh, and people are going to start calling me um, very cute names, and I am destruction. I am God. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, cool. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I, I, sorry. I was going to start calling you Hakawaii. Haka hey, that's pretty cute. <laughs> I winked. You couldn't see it behind the mask. <laughs> Speaking of masks, though, yeah, as you can see, we're all messed up here for the holidays. Um, little little good old Mister Mister Wizzy Wiz is very nervous, so he uses his little mask as a coping mechanism. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. No, 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 incorrect, incorrect. <laughs> I was just establishing right, dominance early. Right, I was like, right, I too right, can right, mask right. up. I I I I I I I I outmasked him. <laughs> uh, see, see, the thing is, nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> but once again, dude, thank you so so much for being here. Seriously, it makes me really happy that you guys uh, all agreed to come to my cute little like silly winter interviews. It makes me really really happy that you guys like you know took the time to do this. Yeah, and I'm excited to see again, who's playing good cop, um, bad cop. That, that was that was part of the old plan. <laughs> oh, yeah. To see the, the interrogation that we're going now for, it's more like uh, emotional interrogation, where I kind of like uh, get your dirty laundry and I use that as blackmail um, for for later. But that's okay. That's okay. 
Oh, okay. Do you want my coat or like what do you what what laundry are you looking for? <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, whatever you're you're willing to offer. You know, we have uh, a lot uh, of like interesting. Here you people. go. Like we have we have an, we have an evade. You can borrow we that. Have to, we have an live up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Akito, please, please hang that coat and make sure to perfume it. Thank you. No, no. Mm -hmm. <sighs> He's checking your wallet. Do you have anything of value there? No. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I I thought so. Yeah, you guys kind of live in the desert and shit, so. Yeah, I've got debt, like debt <laughs> notice notifications in there. I keep them to remind myself that I'll never pay them back. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. I mean, that's that's what gives you your core personality. <laughs> mm. I like no. to think my core personality is full of shit. I'm like a septic tank of a creature, of a human being. <laughs> that's Those words are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, dude. Once again, first of all... I know we started with the whole shit post thing and st enough shit talking. Congratulations on your debut. Seriously, Thank you. You guys fucking killed it. Like, you guys have no idea how insanely happy I am that you guys, you know, are here. The fact that you guys took, like, debuts to such a whole different level, it just makes me really excited to see what's coming up in the future. You guys literally did everything. It's, ah, it makes me so, so happy. Like, you know, like, it makes me, like, think back into, like, oh, man, I wish I could have done that when I debuted it, but the, the fact you guys like you know had like big, big brain energy enough to like make all those bits and all that, it was really cool. Especially your hand bits. That was really good. <laughs> you like my emergency deployable arms? <laughs> your emergency deployable arms is like a list. I do keep you those just, in my coat. Yeah. <laughs> you just deploy your arms. <laughs> just in case, you know, in case I gotta have functioning arms. Here's here's stuck in this 2D plane, this trapped in this flat hell hole. <laughs> I, uh, I need to make do where I can, so I've got emergency deployable ones in case I gotta write something. <laughs> right, exactly. You never know. Like it's mm -hmm. your, it's like your stylus, but it's basically like your your your, your hand. I guess I could say it's hand. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pretty handy. It comes in pretty handy. Huh? Yeah. Don't, you know, don't you need a hand, Ruse? <laughs> <laughs> We're freaking yeah. horrible, dude. Oh my yeah, God. actually, hey, sorry that you just lost half your viewership off that one. <laughs> nah, don't worry, dude. Don't worry. We're just filtering the real ones here. <laughs> I spend all day filtering. I'm, a, I'm an industrial grade filter. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All righty, all That was my then. whole debut. I said, I'm going to filter day mm. one. Watch this. I'm going to say the word homestuck on my debut. And my manager said, are you sure about that? I said, fuck yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, the real one stayed, though. The real one stayed. Uh, well, the ones who were masochists stayed, I guess. I mean, you're, 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 uh, what's it called? You're, you're like, you know, life is like a box of, box of chocolates, but you're like a box of, like, different media culture. <laughs> oh, life. You know, my mom always did say life was like a box of chocolates, that it was overpriced and never worth it. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Wait. What I meant was. Uh actually next question. Thank you for the question. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? We haven't even started. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. <laughs> speaking of overpriced shit though, and speaking of money like we did before, here comes my first question. Oh are okay. you ready, Rizzy Wizzy? Not really, since you called me Rizzy Woozy. Uh, but yeah, Bro, she... it's a it's a term of endearment, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. So for my first question, let me paint it to you as a nice little like you know like uh what if, and I want you to respond as truthfully as you can. Let's see. Oh, you're gonna paint me a picture. I'm... Oh. Exactly. Paint paint the picture. I'm your Bob Ross tonight. Oh, that's beautiful. Here, let me close my <laughs> eyes. Uh, can you say beat the devil out of it and then like slap a fucking paintbrush multiple times? <laughs> You got beat, the devil, beat out the devil out of it real quick here. <laughs> you know what? I want to be like that man. I want to say the most like freaking like violent shit in like the softest voice ever. I mean, <laughs> he was a, a a sniper before he was a painter. So <laughs> Wait, he was what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy crap! I imagine that's just what he said before he pulled. <laughs> I guess I can't say that here. I'm not gonna say that here. Actually, <laughs> never let mind. Me, let, let me just beat the devil out of them real quick. <laughs> Boom. And we're just gonna beat the devil out of it real quick. Just imagine oh some pretty little tree. God. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking horrible. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. All right, all right, all right. First question. All right, all right I'm gonna close all my right. eyes. Go. Okay, 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 okay. Let's say Gerard's credit card has, you know, seemed to magically made its way into your hands, right? <laughs> okay. And I mean, he has so much money to even stockpile it because, after all, he is, you know, the leader of Armis. I'm sure he wouldn't notice if you spend like, let's say a gold, a gold coin or two, or 2,000. So it's time to spend those funds, right? 
Mm. Let's say, everyone, say thank you, Gerard, first of all. Thank you, Gerard. Say thank you, Gerard. You gotta thank him. He's your leader. No. Say, no. Th say, no. Th say thank you, Gerard. All right, fine. Uh, thanks, asshole. All right, all right. Uh, good enough. So let's buy the Artemis boys each a gift that you think they will really love, including yourself and Gerard. I mean, I guess, because, you know, you're using his credit card after all, right? <laughs> Which that kind of means that he's buying his own gift, but don't worry. The technicalities really don't matter in this question. What I want is your truthful answer. So, uh, hmm. you're buying this gift not because you want to be nice or anything. It's because you want them to have fun and knowing Gerard, okay? <laughs> so, tell me what each boy's gift would be and what and why did you buy it for them? Hmm. Uh -huh. Well, mm -hmm. starting off, I think the bad news is that it's probably going to bounce because Gerard's as broke as the rest of us. I mean, like, <laughs> he couldn't even pay his power bill last night, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't really buy the whole power outage. It was just on his house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it was just here, here at the tavern. You know how it is. <laughs> uh, now, if we had Gerard's daddy's credit card, I mean, I hear he's a king. So maybe, maybe that's another story. But uh, what? That's, that's dodging the question. Hold on. I'm just buying time to think. Uh, he, he's an entrepreneur, remember. He has loads of money. Oh, okay, okay. Well, in that okay. case, are we talking like infinite money? Unlimited budget. Okay, unlimited budget. Here's what I would do. Uh, for... For Octavio. Okay. I would... I would rent out a stadium, right? Bear okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint you a picture. All right, right? okay, so my, eyes closed, my eyes are closed. My eyes are closed. Close right, your right, eyes, right. Close okay, your okay, eyes. Okay, okay, So I rent out this beautiful, big stadium. I'm talking okay. like fucking like quadruple seats stacked up on Holy top of each other. You got those crap. high risers just going fucking wild, right? Whoa. And then uh, I create like thousands and thousands and thousands of posters and I play, paste them all around Southern Elysium advertising a Taylor Swift concert, right? Oh. And then I buy out some commercial slots. I really hype this shit up. I get it okay, all okay, over the internet. Okay, okay, okay. And then really all that's left to do is uh, it's just a matter of giving Octavio those fake tickets and bam, boom, what a wonderful Christmas when that disappointment comes through and she's not there and no one's there. Empty stadium. <laughs> I mean, I did give you a limited budget. I guess it was for evil after all. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that, though? Why would you do that to a sweet little Octavia boy? Uh, well, the thing is, you see, when, when Octavia was young, uh huh. He had his first Christmas right when he was when he was at the spry young age of twenty three. Oh um, yeah, yeah, I remember when I was that age. Yep, yep. He had his first uh, Christmas, and um, you know he just got whatever he wanted. It was tough. It was hard. He just wanted he wanted to experience what it was like to know what hardship was like. You know, to struggle, mm -hmm. to just be, be be of the salt of the earth, the layman, as it were. Um, and I'm just really making that dream come true. You know how it is. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm helping. You're helping his dream come true to go to a Taylor Swift concert all by himself. E yeah. So so it's so exclusive. So so solo. So only focused on Octavio and how important he is to Taylor that she's not even gonna be there. So that's why he's the only person there, basically. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've got one fucking like old shitty Walkman on the stage or whatever the fuck, uh, uh, whatever, uh, what is that called? A boom box. I got a boom box on stage oh, okay, playing okay, fucking okay, Taylor okay, Swift's okay. music. <laughs> Beautiful, I know. Amazing. Um, it, it's, it's, it paints a wonderful picture. A very sad one, but I think the look in his face will be worth of taking a picture and also posting it online with all that, you know, um, advertisement money <laughs> yeah it would be priceless i would enjoy it i put I, I would frame that and put it on my wall <laughs> the look of devastation what about uh let's see who else would i um for goldie okay for i goldie. would i would get uh i i would get uh oh okay i would get cooking utensils right Okay, uh, but but they are designed to fall apart under heat and pressure. <laughs> Can you imagine it? Poor Jesus. dude's just fucking flipping pancakes, and his spatula falls off the just handle into the pan. Dis disintegrates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just creates like some melted plastic slash batter combo oh straight out of God. fucking Geiger's nightmares. <laughs> dude, do you know how much it hurts to have like melted plastic in your freaking hand? Oh yeah, I dude, can imagine. That, oh, that has happened to me so much. The other day I was making an omelet and I accidentally melted my spatula 
And when I was moving like the like the freaking um frying pan, I touched like the spatula. I was like, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it was so <laughs> bad. Yeah, he wears gloves, so I mean, right. yeah, true, true. He's re he's really well prepared after all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that, though? Why would you do that to Goldie? Especially Goldie. I get Octavio. That guy's evil, but Goldie. Mm, I'm not going to lie. I think it's probably just because deep down, I'm, I'm afraid of genuine connection and being close to people. So I think I, I oh. push them away because they're all inferior to me. <laughs> <laughs> It all started with a childhood trauma. <laughs> you just really want me to call you a bastard in this stream, but like a real, like a real gentleman bastard, so you can like scratch that off your list, huh? I mean, if it's on the table. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. You're, you're not deemed uh, a bastard to me yet. Oh, right. uh, okay. What okay. about what about Gerard? Why would you? Uh, why would you torture? I mean, what would you gift him? I, Gerard's just too easy. I feel like there doesn't have to be anything elaborate. Like, I would just send the fucking... I'd send the dude a regular pair of jeans or pants or whatever, right? Except no hole for his tail. So he'd have to cut out a hole manually and then stitch it back up. I'm sending him chores for Christmas. <laughs> what would you do with that? <laughs> uh, man, life's good when you have infinite money, huh? <laughs> I mean, true. <laughs> All right, all right. What would you give to yourself? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, uh, shit. Uh, I'd probably just like order some food or something. You know, I'm one of those people that's like, I always know what mm -hmm. I want throughout the entire year up until like a holiday hits, right? And then suddenly yeah. my mind just blanks instantly. I turn Me into too. an ascetic monk who's never wanted a material possession in my life. Me too. I live perfectly pure. <laughs> Me too, dude. Holy crap. Me too. Like all the time, I'm just like, I want nothing. As I have, I have everything I currently require <laughs> at the moment. But then suddenly Christmas is over and I'm just like, I want a Steam Deck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just really yeah. like go, goes out of nowhere like it's just like I, I don't know for some reason in the holidays they trying to such like a ooh, ooh, like you know like point at my fingers like you know just like ooh, 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 I'm, I'm shy <laughs> I don't really require anything I'm happy <laughs> dude the thought of somebody like buying me a gift sent spasms of guilt down my spine so violent I could create a new Pangea of it <laughs> like I could split multiple continents continents cleanly <laughs> that bad huh hell yeah I think it's well, you know what? Actually, let's skip the traumas. I won't talk about the origins <laughs> of that. But anyway, I don't like gifts. <laughs> no, I gotta get you a gift, dude. Because yeah. you know, my, my love language is literally gift giving. So I'm gonna get your address somehow, and I'm gonna send you the most like epic gift ever. My love language <laughs> is being left alone to be an old loser in the woods who no one ever talks to. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Those those were not the gifts I was expecting, but for my next question, I mean, <clears throat> my, my my next RP, my <clears throat> my next scenario, I mean. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. You know, it will maybe make sense on why you're such a menace. I would say. Uh, okay. All right, all right. I'll paint you another picture. I'll be your Bob okay. Ross again. Close your eyes. I all suppose. right, all right, all right. My next question here is, it's the dead of the night at the hideout, mm -hmm. right? The dead of the night. No one's making any, any noise. Like, you know, like, it's just like the cicadas going... <clears throat> if there's even cicadas in the freaking desert, I don't know how that works. But you can't fall asleep, right? And now you're hungry. You're a very hungry boy. You're, like, so, so hungry, you could eat a whole cow. Not even sure if there's cows in the desert as well, because I'm not really familiar with how you guys survive. Uh, Nelly. There. Nelly's out there. You're so hungry, you would eat a whole-ass cactus, right? Oh. It... But you say, no, I do not want a cactus. It's time for a little midnight snack. So you make your way over to the hideout's mess hall, right? You're like, hmm, can I get myself some scrumptious turkey legs? You know, you've been saving to like numb on later. Or wait, 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 what's going on there? Holy shit, what's the hell? What the hell? It's gone! What's going on? What could possibly be happening? Someone ate your turkey legs. Someone ate your grub, bro. Holy shit. Now, here comes the question. Wait, wait, wait. Can we stop? I don't like where this is going. This is bumming me out. Can we do a different scenario? No, 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 no. You, 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 you got to experience the full trauma so we can get a real answer. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Someone ate your turkey legs, bro. So you can no longer bam, bam that shit. You cannot even grab, like, the big dinosaur leg. You can eat it. But 
which little shithole, little shit, stole the turkey leggy. And oh. once you catch them, how would you make your revenge on them? How would you enact your revenge on them? It's time for vengeance. Let's make hmm. a little scenario. Who do you think did it? And why? And what would you do to them? Hmm. Okay. Well, first off, fuck them very much. That's step <laughs> one. How dare they? Second off, I'm going to buy time by saying I watched Goldie's interview speaking of turkey legs. Yeah. And he lied through his teeth about me. He said I like my meat tough as jerky, like super well done. Yeah. I eat my shit so raw and wriggling it's still alive. I will go outside and consume an entire cow right now with just my teeth. Yeah. I will fight a bear I was with my mouth. I was very confused about that one because I, I knew you and I were like, you know, like team, like like rare meat, bro. Like yeah. we're like medium rare. Like yeah. with a good enough bed, we can still save that motherfucker. You know, like, yeah. like <laughs> I'm out here like you give me that shit raw and I will eat it. If someone's like got oh oh I made a bunch of sushi and I have this whole slab of salmon left over like the right. whole fish I'm like I'll just eat the fish scales and all. Give me that. <laughs> exactly, dude. Like like we don't we don't make any like you know we don't have any like leftovers. We don't mm -hmm. leave anything behind. You like, know I used to eat the bones. Me for, like, too. I yeah. I yeah. still I still do it. Chicken bones. I, I freaking anymore. like. Oh, now I look like Wait, a Wait, chicken bone. That'll splinter inside your stomach. You shouldn't be eating chicken bones. Now, steak bones, those are good to chew on and tasty, oh. and you can swallow those. But chicken bones will fuck you up. Don't do that. What if I'm looking for a little bit of danger? Oh, uh, oh, you get down to some internal bleeding, huh? That's pretty spicy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> uh, that's pretty metal. Uh, explains why you haven't grown much. You lost a lot of weight through blood. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Continue, Roots. Oh, right. Uh, so the scenario is I go in the kitchen. Uh, my turkey legs are missing. Who did it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what would you do to them? And why would you do it? I see. Uh, okay, so first of all, I mean, obviously it's Gerard. I mean, mm. duh. Uh, honestly, mostly because the dude doesn't take note of his surroundings or like anything yeah. anybody's saying ever. <laughs> I mean it all. It's like if someone wrote a self-erasing code into his thought patterns, and every mm. day he functions without any object permanence. <laughs> he, he's, he, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could tell. We him, still, like, we still love him, though. Absolutely, absolutely. I can tell him, hey, Gerard, I'm leaving my 14 delicious turkey legs in the fridge for a little snack later. Just a mm -hmm. tiny peckish snack. Don't eat those. And I'm telling you, in five minutes, he would approach me from behind and be like, Rose, Rose, someone left free turkey legs in the fridge. We ate all of ours, but you should have some. And don't get me wrong, I guess the guy's heart is in, like, the right place. Like, I, he'd want to share with me, but that will not stop me from cutting off the handles of every single spoon in the tavern. So for the rest of his life, he has to use them like tiny little thimbles to eat his soup. <laughs> he just has to grab like the little spoon, like the naked just spoon. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Dude, oh my, that's, that's, holy crap. That's like very well elaborated. What the hell? Thank you. Last Dude. time I surgically reversed his eyelids, but that was on Minecraft. <laughs> We're not going to do that this time. Next time I'm going to fill his socks with jelly. Uh, uh, uh that, that sounds horrible. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> uh, knowing, knowing Gerard, he would probably just be like, quick, quick, quick. wait, guys, something's <laughs> wrong. Something's weird. I don't know what is it. Mm. And he's just got to oh. be there stepping, you know, with like the freaking like <laughs> jello. <on> his fucking <laughs> <laughs> Creative oh punishments my are my forte. <laughs> No, I can see that. You you're, you're definitely um you're like the the you seem to me like the booby trap man. You go yeah. into the you go into like the jungle, you go into like the mountain, you make like the silliest like booby traps with like the giant like trees that you know they they smash you if you if you step like in a little like rope. You also like the big boulder and stuff like that. You seem like the booby trap person. Absolutely. Digital booby <laughs> traps, physical booby traps, whatever it is, baby, I'm here to have that guerrilla warfare. Usually mental warfare. I'm the type of guy that sneaks in your house every single evening and moves all your furniture over just slightly to the left, one or two inches, until you start to notice and get paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> never. Remind me to never get in your freaking bad side, dude. <laughs> It's okay, I ain't gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna make you second guess what's going on in life. 
No, man. And I just imagine, like, poor Gerard, like, you know, like, he eats, like, the whole, like, turkey legs, and he has, like, his whole face, like, full of, like, barbecue. And he's just like, <laughs> Bruce, you would never <laughs> believe what happened. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and again, his heart's in the right place, so he would want to share. But it's, like, five minutes ago I told him, dude, don't eat us. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm surprised you didn't pull out your big man axe and you didn't give him, like, a new haircut, you know? Listen, if I pull out my big man axe every time someone wrongs me, we'd be in an extinction. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the name again? You're a big, big bad boy, Zephyr, right? Yeah, Zephyr. Zephyr, man. You know what? Something I also noticed about you, you are insanely knowledgeable about your weapons. You you know your... Whoa, what's going on there, buddy? You, you okay? You're like... You're like spasming a little bit. Hold on, let me just get through my hyperspeed uh, chatter. One second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had a lot of caffeine before this. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry bro. Don't worry. That, that's okay. <laughs> I just really, I, I listen, sometimes I drift out of this timeline and into a slightly sped up version. It's just sort of how I exist in the, you, in the you get, continuum. You, you get locked up in the speed force, dude. I guess. Yeah, you. yeah, that just a little bit. Me. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of fucked up when I go into the speed force and I literally see like five different versions of myself. Like one of them is wearing like a really weird helmet with little wings on it. It's Holy kind of shit. Up. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. That's a reference <laughs> to Boomer Flash, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen him in a comic once, and I said, "Why well, he got that little helmet on?" You're right. So cute, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's based on Hermes, I think, isn't it? Or something on. like that. Her Hermes, Hermes. Like oh, the, oh, Hermes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Probably, that that, that motherfucker. Yeah, 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 that guy. That guy. <laughs> uh, that, that was before my era of understanding what the hell comics were. So mm -hmm. I don't know why he looks that way, but I'm gonna assume it's Hermes. Yeah, or Hermes. <laughs> I think, he looks, I, I think he looks very dapper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of weapons, though, you're okay, big okay. bad boy Zephyr. And now uh -huh. Zephyr, right? That's her name? Zephyr? Yeah, Zephyr. Zephyr, Zephyr, Zephyr. Zephyr, Zephyr. Okay, Zeph Zephyroth. All right, the one, yeah. the one, the one wing X. I got it. Zephyroth, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> now here comes my next question. Okay. That's a very sexy, sexy, sexy axe you got there. Can you, can All right, you, hold can you, on. Can you, you can't can, say that to him. Can you show it off? Can you show it off for us? Yeah, I could. Can you show I'm it off? Sure yeah, 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 yeah. Show me, luck, show me. Though. It's going to eat up a lot of... Ooh, well, oh, my go. Lord. That's the same size as me. Holy yeah, crap. This is why I don't take it out every time someone pisses me off. <laughs> uh, he's a little camera shy, but yeah, he's pretty cool. What about him? I think, he, I think he's a very badass fellow. But yeah, yeah. you might have to cover up their their ears for this next question, though. Oh, sorry, I'll put him away. Hold on. Uh, He's my best friend yeah, too. Okay, I want okay, you to know uh, that before uh, you ask uh, your question. Oh, oh, oh shit. Um. Well, are, are the ears covered? Yeah, he's he's bagging his pocket space. Is their axe hole covered? Yeah, I screwed <laughs> on the uh, I screwed the thermos back on the bottom. You didn't know I had a thermos uh, on ever? I did. Oh, really? Yep. Attached it's, to the bottom. Is, is it hollow? Is it hollow? Yeah, it keeps my hot soup. Oh, so it's like the... Wow, what a coincidence. It's just like the Bonsling Hakka Thermic Bottle that I have right here around me. It screws what? up. It, uh, it insulates your drink. Wow, very beautiful. But you guys missed it. It was for my birthday. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, I thought you were about to drop a smooth-ass fucking no, no. no. plug. Damn. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. All right, gotcha, gotcha, ask gotcha. for the question. Now that we know mm. that Sifra is not listening. Okay. Let's say in another life, you know, a very sad life, of course, because you love Zephyr oh. a lot, and you mentioned Zephyr is your best friend. Uh -oh, you did not on. get. I'm to gonna meet go put Zephyr, Zephyr outside. Uh, fuck that. No, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Park it, park it outside. Park it outside. Hey, buddy, sit down here for just a second, okay? Oh wait, don't worry. My Hakito's gonna. Hey, Hakito! All right, I need like ten of you guys to take Zephyr out, please. Yeah, okay? I'm just gonna have you hang out here for just a second. You keep watch, okay? Just in case like a corruption beast attacks or something. All right, just give me a shout, bud. Okay, bye. I'll be back. Kisses. I All right. Hakitos, keep an eye on it. Don't, don't, don't let Gerard steal it or, 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 or Axel. He's low on cash. What did All I right? miss? What's up? No, What's no, 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 don't, don't worry. I was just talking to the Hakitos to keep an eye on Sephir. You really never know, you know. Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can take care of himself. It's okay. okay. What's, what's oh, up? What's up? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Like I was saying, it's a horrible timeline where you didn't get to meet Sephir. Very sad. Yeah, terrible. Your beautiful axe. But... Instead, you have to craft a completely different dream weapon that wasn't that lovely axe of yours. It kind of sounds hmm. like I'm saying your ass, but it's your axe, you know? Yeah, you can keep talking about my ass. Uh, okay, but, 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 both, yeah, 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 don't worry, don't worry. What yeah, kind okay. of weapon would you choose? What kind of weapon would you craft? You are allowed to make up a weapon that does not exist if you like. Why did you choose that weapon, and what's the build for it? Tell us what features did you incorporate on that axe. 
or weapon you're gonna use. If you get to have another axe, of course. Oh no, you're activating my special interest. Uh, I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a that's a good question. Um, mm. I do love weapons. Uh, I know you do. We talked about weapons. See, here, well, here's the thing, right? Like, <laughs> I, I know you said like, what, 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 like, what weapon would you make? But like, I think that like every time I've talked about weapons on stream, mm. I've kind of mentioned the idea that like the right tool for the right job is important. Like there's no like mm, 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 perfect singular weapon. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Like I don't even use Zephyr exclusively. Like I, 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 Zephyr is my favorite, don't get me wrong. And when I'm fighting corruption beasts, absolutely Zephyr is my go-to for sure. I mean, that blade is big enough to like lop the head clean off a fucking whale. So yeah, absolutely. I will use Zephyr when I'm fighting corruption beasts. But it really depends on the situation, right? Like, I could tell you, like, um, actually, uh, I would simply craft a, a series of satellites uh, that floated above the planet, and I would then implant a chip into my eye so that any time I thought a certain thought or looked at a certain enemy a certain way, they would fire a direct laser beam with the perfect heat and uh, power to kill it on the spot with no chance of it dodging. Uh, but that's kind of a cop-out answer, right? Yeah, that's, like, way too hardcore. That's, like, way too specific, bro. Exactly, exactly. So I guess that's that's like uh, the, that's a plot of Kingsman, bro. <laughs> yeah, I've never watched that, so sure, yeah. You should. It's really good. Fair, fair. What is it about? What is it? Oh, it's 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 a long story. Just imagine like your your good old fashioned like spy movie, but with very nice like twists. It's a really oh. good movie. You should watch it. Okay, I'll check it out at some point. I said as I put it down on the list of things I said, I'll check it out at some point. And it meant to get around to and absolutely haven't. <laughs> it's like James, it's like James Bond for Sumers. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, I haven't watched James Bond. Oh, yeah. I mean, my, my, my dad used to be obsessed with James Bond, so uh, I actually saw like a bunch of those movies. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess to answer the question seriously, um, I don't know. I'm still a sucker for like spears and mm -hmm hand and a half swords i guess i would uh let's just say push comes to shove i'd probably just make like a regular hand and a half sword with like a nice tapered pommel and a wide cross guard uh Ooh. i like the idea of like a long sword or a hand and a half sword because they're really really good for like general use right like it's a little mm -hmm. annoying to care for but um having a sword's kind of like having a pistol if that makes sense like you don't want to have to use a sword like ideally just like you would want to have like a rifle in a combat situation or something like that you'd want to be mm. using a bow or a spear or something that keeps you at a good distance something that's good at like piercing armor or keeping you safe while you fight and it's only after you lose those things or run out of ammo or something like that, that you mm -hmm. would drop down to sword combat does that make sense yeah but Swords are like a self-defense weapon. It's like carrying a knife or carrying a pistol right, on, yeah. in medieval times. They're good at most things. So in a situation where, you know, a more specialized weapon like a spear or a bow might fail, a sword is still going to save your ass. So it's the best, like, all-arounder sort of Mario weapon, I would right. say. That or like a mace, I guess. So yeah, let's say a good a good longsword. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's the build for it? Like, do you have, like, any enchantments you that you'll put into your sword? Like, any special Oh, you think cards? I need magic? You think I'm a baby? No, I mean, I don't think you're a baby, but bro, you got you got to tell me your stats, bro. You got to tell me your, 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 you know, the builds, the features you incorporated into crafting it. Come on, man. Well balanced and sharp. Wow. <laughs> oh, you want me to say? Oh, actually, sorry, I've actually folded it three million times into yeah, there, 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 the glorious. There, 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 there we, man, come on, it's it's your special interest. I'm unlocking it. You gotta tell me all about the. Freaking, I like, just told you I, all about it. It's, it's uh, like okay, the, well, the, the, the iron the iron smelting techniques they used in the freaking oh, like like Middle oh, Age and stuff like that. Okay, I would form it out of mithril, clean, just straight all mithril. Right, so all right, all right, all right. as a fucking feather. Wields like a little boffer sword, like it's made of foam, so I can just do impossibly quick maneuvers with it. Like, I could okay. treat it like a little light foil rapier if I wanted to, or I can cleave down like it's a claymore, and that shit would go right through a boulder. No problem. A man in full plate armor, cut him in half. Tank, cut it in half. A tank shell, cut it out of the air. No problem. Insanely fast, insanely strong. And let's go ahead and say it has an enchantment on it that makes it so I don't have to bother caring for it all day, because swords take a a lot of time and a lot of effort to you know sharpen you got to oil them up and stuff you got to make sure you don't leave the blood on it when you put it in the scabbard blah 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 and i would put an enchantment on it so i can do the whole cool back draw but not like an idiot you know how people put their swords on their backs but they look like morons yeah but like just cool How's i that? see i see oh wow, that's wow that, that's a very that's a very very oddly specific kind of sword you got there <laughs> i think I, th I think it's a very powerful sword um what i would probably you know like um add into it it's probably the way you're you're getting the sumis there brother 
Just let me get my zoomies. Let me get them out. <laughs> Let's get the zoomies. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you said like like wearing your the, the, your sweats in the back is kind of like a stupid idea because like uh, you know you it takes you so long to actually sheet like your freaking like you know draw your sword. I think it's yeah. like very 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 annoying. That you I don't think it even like... looks that cool. <laughs> mm. it, it could make sense if you're just wearing the scabbard on your back, right? Like instead of wearing it around your belt, you just sling it over your shoulder and then you take right. the entire scabbard off and draw the sword. That would make sense. Uh, but like the idea that you draw it straight from your back is just silly. <laughs> but see, I'm not going to have see, that debate because that's too much. And anyway, also, side note, real quick disclaimer. I am mm. not, aside from Zephyr, which I am an expert. Okay. Uh, Aside from Zephyr, I'm not a trained weapon master. Take what I say with a grain of salt. It's not like I'm like the world's greatest long sword fighter in the world or spear fighter or whatever. Like, yeah, I'm damn good with Zephyr and probably the only person who can wield it. But uh, otherwise. Oh, wait. So you're like soul bound to like Zephyr? Zephyr you're... soul bound to, well. Hmm. Whoa. Am I soul bound to Zephyr? That's a good question. It's kind of uh... mutual, bro. It's kind of mutual. Don't worry about it. All right. Don't worry about what's going on with Zephyr. No, 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 no. I, I want to know all the spicy details now. The lore, bro. Come on. Oh. I mean, you mentioned you want to dig deep. Oh, you yeah. You really know about what's going on. Absolutely. Come here. Get closer. Yeah, yeah. I'll whisper it into your ear. Okay. <laughs> one second. So the thing with Zephyr and I. Okay. It's none of your business. Get out uh, of my. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I overstepped my boundary there. I know yeah, Zephyr, it's, it's, it's Zephyr gets a little bit touchy whenever you, um very sticky figures <laughs> get right next to you because if you think about it, you kind of can use me as an axe. I'm like perfectly like you know like 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 wield the. You do have like kind that. of axe shaped hair. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? My blades are literally right there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for yelling in your ear. I hope you get your hearing no, back soon. That, that's okay, bro. I'm used to it. You know, mm -hmm. after after um, getting you guys as neighbors in the Badlands, let me tell you that it's it's 4 a.m. and all I hear is like, <laughs> and I mean, I've kind of you know, kind of gotten used to it. Don't worry about ah. it. I think oh, okay, it's, my bad. Yeah, yeah. I I know you got really good hearing too. Me too. Oh yeah, yeah. You should play <laughs> hunt with me sometime. <laughs> Dude, I actually saw that. I, I actually, like, I would love to try Hunt. It looks really cool. I oh, saw you yeah. playing it the other day. You were, like, screen sharing it. Was it, was it, was it you? I think yeah, it was probably. You. I think yeah, it was yeah, me. yeah, yeah. It was you, actually. You were screen sharing. You were screen sharing. I would call, would call on Discord. It was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. I really liked it. <laughs> it's a very fun game. Would recommend. That or Dark and Darker, but I know we've already played Oh, that. dude, that was so much fun, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right. I have a follow-up little bonus question for that question I just asked you. Fire away. Yeah, yeah, because you know, you really mentioned you love to use the best weapon for the best scenario. And mm. I think that is very smart, that is very strategic, and that is what makes you probably a really good, like, you know, like, fighter. You know exactly what tool to use for the, uh, for the appropriate job. So, can you list off your head from your favorite video game franchises? Like, what are your mains? Oh, like my favorite video game franchises or my favorite weapons? What are you asking? I mean, from your favorite video game franchises, what are your favorite weapons from the top of your head? <sighs> uh, I mean, obviously my favorite. I, mean, I guess I'll just go down the list of my favorite video game franchises and say the weapons that I like in those. And Fuck Legend yeah. Of Zelda, Let's go. Sword, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, probably the um, Kokiri bow. Um, mm -hmm. And Dark Souls. I really like the Gargoyle Stone Halberd. I like the Astora Straight Sword. I like the dual uh, bandit daggers. Ooh. I like the parrying dagger, uh, Grass Crest Shield. Uh, I like the Claymore. Just classic Claymore is really good. I love uh, Claymores. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the Rot Spear from Dark Souls 3. I use that a lot. Uh, oh. The Tree Rot Spear. I like Poison Weapons a lot. The, uh, what was it? The Grell Dagger, I think it was called in Dark Souls 3. Mm -hmm. And the Whip. Uh, hmm. What about Elden Ring? In Elden Ring, I really stuck to the bandit knife. Wait, the you know, bandit I fought Margaret at level 10 with a bandit knife. <laughs> you, you did? Yeah, I was level 10, no armor, bandit knife only. It took me 87, 83 tries, something like that. It sucked. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember for Elden Ring, when, you know, the, the whole game like came out and stuff like that. My brother actually really likes playing Elden Ring. 
Mm -hmm. And I found out about like the whole like story of like let me solo her, and yeah. I was and I was just like, man, this game can't be that fucking difficult. Was I was was I wrong? <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to move really fast. I promise. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Get he's, ready. He's, I, he's, I can he's, sense he's, it. I sense he's it. He's entering the speed force. Behold! <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I'm moving very slowly. Yeah, yeah. You know well, what? That counts. That counts. <laughs> 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 That's fine. Uh, what other weapons do I really like from other mm. games? Um, I like all the cool uh, armored cores. <laughs> oh, the armored cores. Okay. I've only played armored core six, but all of those mechs are super cool. I, I don't have a Dude. favorite weapon really in that, but man, they're cool as hell. Uh, what else have I played really that I'm a big fan of certain weapons? Um, mm. Oh, uh, the longsword from For Honor. I like using the longsword character, the warden. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the flail and shield. Uh, the halberd for the lawbringer. I like a long, or sorry, a short sword offhand dagger is very fun. Mm -hmm. Um, not a lot of named weapons. I'm beginning to realize. I haven't played games with named weapons. It's just weapon types. Yeah, huh. yeah, yeah. You're not giving me the funky names like Masamune, like Muda, Muda, Muda Masa. Like you're not giving me like the <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not you're not giving me like all the freaking like mystical names like the great the great blade of the of the peepee -pee poopy. You know, like you're not giving me. Like, oh, the, I've always wanted to try Gugnir. I want to oh, that, that sounds me. damn! That sounds cool. Yeah, I think that's Odin's spear. I want to try that. And yeah, Glam, yeah, the, the Glam spear of Sigurd, Sigurd, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glam's okay. the dragon slaying great sword that Sigurd wielded. Ooh, I believe. I want to okay. try that too. Excalibur, they see a chat. <laughs> yeah, I could try Excalibur. Excalibur, Maybe. dude. But you know, which Excalibur? Oh, oh, wait. Here comes a question. Another. Oh, okay. Oh no! Wait. The magic act. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! And ah! now for my next trick. From my hand, I will be able to cast a very handsome buff man. Just give me the time to recollect myself so I can channel the beautiful energy in just a second. All right. All right. I'm gonna, 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 I'm so good. It's almost like I'm a natural. It's all this Elden Ring fucking talk, bro. I'm like casting spells and shit. Man, the butt cheek. <laughs> wow. You know, I've never played the game with the whoa, low, low, low either. Isn't that Age of Empires? It's Age of Empires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never played that. I'm sorry. What were you going to ask me about Excalibur? I lost your track. Oh, have you? Hmm. I don't. You like weapons a lot. So I have an anime recommendation for you, which I Soul know. Eater? Yes, have you yeah, have you watched Soul watched Eater? It. Fuck yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't know how it's aged. I watched it when I was younger, but yeah, yeah. I love Excalibur. He's my yeah, favorite Excalibur's character. Yeah, Excalibur's funny as fuck. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> I like the face they make when Excalibur comes up. Fool. Dude, that's the face everyone makes when I come into the room. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, I that, when that, I saw that's, you. That's the face they. That's the face they make when we come into the room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We walk in. They hear it in the distance. Just a quiet, distant, like. <laughs> we open the door, buckle my shoe. <laughs> yeah, all right, true. all right, all right. Thank you so much, literally, for all your tidbits and all your wisdom about weapons. I always find you as an unlimited source of knowledge. You you know so much about everything that I actually find that very admirable. But not only admirable, but very impressive. So related to that comes my next question. Okay. Rid riddle me this, Batman. Uh, <laughs> you wanna know I got these titty scars? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I learned a lot of like, you know, small, like tiny bits of like random info things to you, thanks to your beautiful info dumps. I think they're uh. very good. They Whenever I, I, I tap into your special interest and I open the big fountain of honey and milk of like whatever Roos is currently interested on, <laughs> I think it's the most amazing thing ever. And because I of, replace a facsimile mm. of a personality with all of the random bits of information I've gotten through my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. I, I, th I think that's what makes you you and that's what makes uh. you great. That's what makes Roos the Roos. Mm. <laughs> Could you tell us, or maybe explain to us, some more about the geography of the Badlands? That's actually something I've been super curious about, because we don't really know much about it. 
So maybe something that, you know, you jotted down in your missions when you were, you know, maybe like a scouting that can give us like more insight on what's it like out there. Like, yeah, that's example, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, go, go ahead, ahead. Sorry. No, no, please. Oh, okay. Like, for example, this could be like, you know, like a little like, like a tucked away lookout. Like you go to go alone, like a small, like happy place that you like to go, like a treacherous portion of the map, you know, that you actually avoid because of the harsh conditions. Give us all the wisdom, all great Bruce. Okay, so like, mm, give you're us asking a like more about the geography, uh, maybe like a place I like to tuck away, and also like places to avoid, right? Right, exactly. Like you know, just like this, just special. Well, well, you're getting the zoomies. Hold up. Yeah, let me get the zoomies out one second. <laughs> <laughs> Southern Elysium Internet, baby. Oh uh, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Gerard must not have paid the internet bill. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> The Badlands is running a dial-up. <laughs> Dude, I, I miss that sound. <laughs> uh, I have fond memories of mm. barely being cognizant when... <laughs> Dude, I mean, because I am from Sino Kuni, everything's like 10 years behind. So oh, I, I, that I, sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're like really delayed when it comes to like technology and stuff like that. I got to experience that... <laughs> <laughs> like five years ago? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, fuck you. <laughs> all right. No, all right. that was a while ago for me. I remember that, though. I remember having to, like, uh, share a family fucking PC. It's, uh, you know what? We won't go down that tangent yet. How about Yo, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody all call right. the tavern. I'm using the internet right now. Get off the phone, GB, please. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh, right. Mm. Uh, geography. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I love talking about that. Uh, I love exploring mm. around here. Um, and honestly, it's one of the things I like talking to about people the most, which mm -hmm. is actually saying a lot because I hate talking to people, as you know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, let me think. What would I want to tell you about the geography around here? Uh, oh, okay. You know what? Let's just, how about this? All right. I think that a lot of people have like a misconception that um, the Badlands are all like one massive sandy waste and that's just how the like whole place is, but that's just not how big continents work, right? Like that doesn't Whoa, function that way. Oh, okay, okay. So it's just one area of, of like uh, South Elysium basically. Right, South Elysium has a lot mm. of like arid, ar it's an arid continent, it's an arid nation, I guess if got you want to call got it, it that. Got it, got it, got it, got uh, it. But there's like a ton of flora, fauna, environmental variety to be had here. Like there's like, from like canyons to salt flats, shrublands, oases, mm. caverns, full of some of like the most incredible crystals you've ever seen. Ooh. Huge mesas with sweeping views and like awesome rock structures that are all like uh, scored with like the scars of history and stuff like that. We got like mangrove swamps and tons of other areas, you know? There's like a lot of diversity here besides just a big desert. There is a big desert, don't get me wrong. Mm. Um, but there's a lot going on aside from that. If I were to warn you off of a place in the Badlands. Okay. I just say anywhere there's like a corruption beast, you know, like they, they aren't exactly a natural part of the ecosystem and they're pretty unpredictable. It's best to kill them if you see them and then just cash mm. in the bounty where you can if you're licensed uh, to be bounty hunting. Uh, that's assuming you're tough enough to take them down. <laughs> I am tough enough to take them out. How do you All right, then just take them out. How do you think I got the scars, Batman? Holy shit. <laughs> Is that you, Batman? <laughs> uh, but most of the time when I'm out on the road, well, I guess when I'm not out on the road, uh, I hang out at the Criminal's Cut. It's like, uh, it's an independently owned bar that sits near the top of a canyon, looking mm. down on a river that cuts along through the bottom. It's, uh, it's a city or two away from uh, where Gerard and the others live. So it kind of gives Ooh. me space I need when I don't want to deal with the others, which is most of the time, to be fair. I see, I see, I see. So I like, don't own the bar, but I stay there sometimes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So it's basically, you're a regular there. You, they they, yeah, they yeah. basically see you and they're like, the usual? You're like, yeah, the usual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, the usual. And they're like, all right, one big, strong, manly drink coming right up. And they hit me with that hot chocolate with babies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, that's good shit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Little strawberry and cream Baileys to hit my hot chocolate. Don't mind if I do. Oof, oh, that sounds delicious, dude. Oh my god, man, you you got me thinking now. It's been a while since I had Bailey's. Holy crap! <sighs> I'm telling you, I only drink those big, strong, masculine drinks like strawberry daiquiris and screwdrivers. Dude. <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up, champ. You gotta leave some some of us, man. The testosterone is overflowing. Careful. I know, I know. Here, take your Long Island. Hold up. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll just drink this straight fucking moon shit. You know what? Just give me your nail polish. I'll just chug that shit. No all right, problem. All right. <laughs> the, the, the freaking, like, like the, the acetone. <laughs> oh, delicious hand soap or hand sanitizer. 
<laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> I don't understand how people drink beer. I can't stand it. What can't. man? Beer is I'm so sorry. fucking good. Oh, it's like drinking like crushed up wheat that somebody already pre-digested for me. I hate it. So it makes it makes it easier. No, I'm good. I just at that point, like fucking give me hops and I'll just or give me fucking <laughs> like the actual wheat out of the field and I'll chew that. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna ferment it in my mouth with my with my bad energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll just hold it in my mouth cavity until I get enough mold for it to start to turn into alcohol. Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, you know, that's actually something I kind of got like, there was a stage in my life where I was really <laughs> interested in like brewing my own beer. No shot. Yeah, but then I realized like all the things you have to take into consideration, like all the preparation, like, you know, yeah, you gotta like yeah. sanitize like shit properly. You gotta be really careful to like measure like the quality of the beer and stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. like near Sinokuni, um, there's actually a very nice craft beer place that I um, got a lot of inspiration from. And like, you know, I'll usually just go there to have like, you know, some of their craft beers, like like coffee mm -hmm. beer, like chocolate beer. And that was like so <laughs> sick, dude. <laughs> okay, interesting. I've never heard of that, but yeah. It's good, it's good. It's it's, it's good shit. It's like, okay. mwah, like, like chef's I kiss, I would, you know? I would consider giving it another try at some point. If we ever like off visit each other or whatever. If I ever swing over to Western Elysium, we'll, we'll mm. see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I, I'll, I'll love to take you there, dude. It'll be a nice fun adventure. <laughs> mm. Speaking of nail polish, you know, it's actually very, very fun because my next question is kind of related to that. And okay. I'm about to quote a very wise man that once said, combat is pointless without style. Oh. And I hear you, brother. I hear you. It's not That was uh, Brian David Gilbert who said that, right? And also you and your fucking debut with you dumbass. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Those are very wise words, you know, unless I don't have the best looking glamour or armor, man, I gotta look stylish as hell when I beat some ass, you know? Fuck yeah, fashion <laughs> souls all day. Why do you wear shit for stats? Stats are for chumps. Right, exactly, <laughs> dude. You gotta you got look epic. <laughs> what, you're not good enough to win looking good? <laughs> exactly. I mean, let's, let's, all right, let me paint you another picture. Let me be your Bob Ross, right? Close your fucking okay, eyes. Okay, go, 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 go. <gasps> all right, all right, imagine. <sighs> and this, and don't get scared. Don't get alarmed. All right. Okay. It, it, can you use your narrative voice? Can you hit me with like it's like a uh, like a, a movie theater like sort of like trailer like in a world. All right. Check it out. Check city. it out. Check it out. Let me let me RP with you, bro. Let me RP. Okay. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Slash SRS. Right. Oh, okay. Sl <laughs> slash. <G> <laughs> go, go 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 go. Yeah yeah. Hit me. I'm glad we're doing tone indicators. <laughs> go go go. All right. All the black nail polish is out. <gasps> and I know that is your signature color. Mm -hmm. But it looks like the store won't get it back in stock till a few weeks. <sighs> Starring Tom Cruise as the Sephora employee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go. <laughs> Since black polish is out, what color would you choose instead? Tell us and explain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, I noticed <laughs> that Gerard uses black nail polish too. I used mine for my left hand, and Gerard has an accent for his nails, so we're, we're the three of us are fucked here. Okay, huh? <laughs> but also okay. another fun fact. I don't know if you know this, but literally Gerard, Magni, and I, and you are the only Ian Holostar boys that actually have our nails showing off. We're showing off our, our many petties, bro. And we are the only people wearing nail polish that is visibly. What the fuck? Yeah. That's pathetic. We need to step I, up I, our I, game I, as a I, I, I know. What the fuck? Like, the only other person that kind of has... I mean, it's not really nail polish, but they got, like, nice long nails is Flayon. You know? But that's, like, part of the jumpsuit. <laughs> oh, no. What? That's so lame. All right. You know right, what? Right. Fuck that. We're going to have to figure something out. All right. Out. All right. So all right, all right. Here's, the real, here's the real kicker, right? Mm -hmm. What other colors would you suggest for Gerard, me, and you to substitute for a normal black polish too? You know, maybe we could have a bro night, you know? Like, those bro nights where we oh. just, like, paint our nails, we kind of kiss each other to practice, you know? Huh? What was... Sorry, I missed a part. That, you said a different thing there for a second, besides <laughs> paint nails, that I... What? No, 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 don't worry, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay, <laughs> cool. Um, hmm. Well, I... Hmm. Let me... Okay, so for me, I guess I would, pr I guess I could go with like mm. a nice purple to match my eyes, or I could oh, go with like a Oh, you mean, <laughs> you mean <laughs> like me? Oh, 
exactly. You mean, you exactly. mean <laughs> like me? Maybe I can sure. share. Maybe I can share you some. <laughs> yeah, let me borrow your nail polish. Actually, I bet that one look good. <laughs> we can all like do our nails and kick our little feet and talk yeah, about boys dude. or whatever. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Well, we call Goldie in the phone and we twirl like the like the phone line. Oh yeah, it'd be really cool. And then a serial killer breaks in through the window, and it turns out we're actually the tone was off for our movie because we're in a slasher fic, and then we fight for our lives. <laughs> it'd be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, you're, you're gonna probably gonna kill me for this one, but I, I know you're also really into movies, but I've never watched Scream before. Me neither. I don't like horror movies. Uh, when I said slasher film, I was making a reference to something I've never seen, which I do a lot. Right? Yeah, 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 me too. That's how I started reading fucking Warrior Cats, dude. I made one fucking <laughs> reference to something I don't know, and now we're stuck here. <laughs> Anyway, I don't watch horror movies. I've never watched Scream. Uh, but I do know that it usually involves a bunch of poor, innocent, like, fucking college kids just chilling, and then somebody breaks in and tries to kill them. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, my usual weekly day. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, it happens that, to me all the that, time. That usual life in Cedar Cootie, am I right? <laughs> That's why I sleep with a knife. <laughs> all right, all right. So you would choose purple, which I think it's good because it matches your eyes. What about Gerard? You know, either purple or I would go with like that sort of like really light faded uh, sort of. I guess you would call it pink of my gems, maybe. Oh, yeah, like, a pink. Like, or like, like a light purple, maybe like salmon. Yeah, yeah lavender. Well, it's not quite sand. I don't think it's you, you think it's salmon. Salmon is fucking orange. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah, that's orange. You're right. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, pinkish pink. If you think about it, salmon is kind of like like it like salmon is like the most orangish like pink. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll be real honest with you here. I'm kind of colorblind. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know colors very well either. It's totally, I get it. No worries. <laughs> I, I, am, I am in denial because mm. every time I do anything fucking like that involves colors, I keep telling the Hakitos, bro, this is like fucking like purple. And they're like, no, you fucking imbecile. That's maroon. And like, no, what That's the fuck the do you mean? Thing. Maroon and purple are the same. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. There's like seven colors and everything else is just people saying shit. Like, like sorry, but fucking chartreuse doesn't exist. That's lightish red. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Don't Bro, tell me. <laughs> whenever they fucking pull out the fucking Pokédex for the fucking color oh, names and shit, that, yeah, that, bro, like, actually, I get so fucking upset. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> like, like, man, at least, like, if you're gonna be like sl slash SRS, give me the fucking hex code, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, actually, that hex code CH two zero seven nine. I'm like, okay, well, what what type is that? Tell me, tell me what a stat block is. All right, yeah. like, how, how many like defense EVs does he have? Well, yeah, <laughs> what's what's their nature? So yeah. I can make sure I can breed it properly with another. Compatible. <laughs> exactly. When I breed yellow and green and I make fucking baby vomit or whatever color you want to call it, like what's his what's his fucking nature gonna be? <laughs> yeah. What egg group does he belong to? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. Yeah, speaking of colors, I could get away with like a dark red, maybe, but then I feel Ooh. like that would lead me into like a vampire aesthetic, and I'm not scared uh, of garlic, so nah. I mean garlic is yummy though. Why would you be scared of it? I'm not. It's delicious, I mean, but I hear I vampires are. But I think vampires are stupid. I agree. <laughs> I think I think maybe Gerard might be a vampire because he's afraid of Whoa. onions. Um, oh, oh, he's afraid of onions? I don't know. I'm just saying shit now. <laughs> he, he I'm must, just slandering a little. He, he, a little. Must, he must hate me, bro. I am, you know, you know, oh. Ogres have layers, and you know what also Dude, I has fucking layers? love onions. Say it. <laughs> Say onions. It. <laughs> onions! <laughs> I love onions. I like I like yellow onions and the white onions and the red mm. onions. I like caramelized onions. They're I like so sauteed good, onions. Dude. I like just red onion, just cut flat, fucking slap that on a burger. Bam! Ah, delicious, dude. God Ugh. damn. The only the only onions that, that kinda make me like a little bit like, you know, like I kinda like hesitate a little bit for onions are like red onions. But that's because I only like them pickled. I think and they have a really good bite if you put them on a burger. Like raw? Yeah. Yeah, you just cut the red onion and just put it on the burger as a disc. I'm telling you, it has really good bite. Especially if you get, like, a little lettuce, a little tomato, red onion. Maybe mm. you do a little, like, you know, mustard and ketchup. Mm. Maybe some sharp cheddar and a Swiss. Ooh. Mm. Wait, so you... By, by any ch so you, you dabble into the cooking. Do you, do you dabble into the cooking? Yeah, yeah. Mm, Once in a while. Mm, mm, mm. What what type of dishes do you do? Uh, I'm not like exceptional. I'm no. I'm definitely no Goldie. Uh, but there's a few dishes that I have as staples. Like I make like a pretty good bibimbap. Uh, I make. Oh shit! Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Damn. 
I make key lime salmon with like a nice like key lime butter that you could pour over the top. I make a good um What's that? Sorry, I don't know what key lime is. It sounds like a feline. So key lime is like a type of sauce or not oh, sauce, like, a juice, like like essentially. Like key lime, like key a y lime? Yes. Ah, like key lime. You use oh, that and you mix it in okay, butter, okay, but okay, first okay, you put okay. in a little garlic, right? And you let that sear in the pan. Then you do the butter, then you do the key lime. And then you want to pour that over the salmon while it's cooking and let it cook inside of it because it'll like absorb into the scales really well. You oh. do skin on salmon, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good taste, good. Because that holds a lot yeah, of the flavor. Yeah, yeah. Um, Love that's really shit. good. I make a nice like soy apricot uh, jam glaze. That's really Ooh, good. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah. Um, is there anything else I make? Oh, I make these really good burgers that have like a garlic aioli, which I make like from scratch. Oh, like I make the garlic aioli from scratch dude. and then I do caramelized onions. Oh, holy shit. That's, ah, oh, that sounds so, del- dude, you gotta make this for <laughs> me, so dude. That sounds so fucking delicious. <laughs> I freaking love garlic. Like, honestly, like garlic is like, ah, delicious, yummy, dude. Like, and, like I could literally live off garlic bread for my whole fucking life. Yeah, yeah, oh, garlic bread is delicious. Man. You know what else smashes? You can't oh. have it one without the other. If I have a uh, spaghetti, spaghetti, Sh- spaghetti, spaghetti, I gotta have that garlic bread. Yeah, 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 dude. Oh my fucking god, dude. You know, actually, me and my family have like this like uh, pasta Sundays like tradition where my brother, um, uh, Haka Bro, like, the middle one, he always actually cooks like spaghetti. And we mm. always have, like, we have spaghetti every fucking Sunday. <laughs> you think I'd be tired of spaghetti? Because I did that, like, poor family. Uh, we rotate the same seven meals every week. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. And spaghetti was definitely on there because you can make a lot of spaghetti real cheap. And man, right. I don't give a fuck. I still love spaghetti to this day. I did get real tired of fucking bologna, though. <laughs> oh, uh. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it, it depends on how you do it because, like, I mean, you can only go so much, like, you can only go so far with, like, bologna, you know? Uh. Like, you either, like, fry it, which is, like, just one way you either like grill it which i grilled bologna like in the jordan Foreman grill. Grill. Good. yeah but that's about it you really can't do much about bologna like you know as a plate of its own because it's mainly bologna sandwiches and shit Dude, it was always bologna sandwiches yeah, with yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, shitty yeah. nasty uh, what's it called uh is there <laughs> western elysium cheese uh oh, and it wasn't good yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 Ugh. Got i mean tired of it. if you slap a shit ton of butter into it it tastes really good though butter <laughs> Yeah, you don't don't you don't don't you butter up your 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 bread? You toast Not it for like a regular sandwich, no. I don't what toast you, it. What are you doing with your life? You don't toast your sandwiches? No, I just eat a fucking sandwich. What the fuck? I mean, I'll toast like a ham and cheese sometimes when I want to make like a grilled ham and cheese. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But you're telling <laughs> me you don't wait. Whoa, hold on, hold on. I, I need to like I need to grab my chair. I, I need little, process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a little bit lightheaded there. I was like, whoa, wait, wait a second. So, no. ham and cheese is the only type of sandwich you toast or yeah. grill? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck do you grill? What are you telling Everything. me? You make a fucking BLT and you grill yeah, that too? Yeah, every fucking piece of bread Everything? I grill. Everything? What about like a sub sandwich? Everything. How are you going to grill that? Bro, I go to fucking Subway and I'm just like, yeah, make that shit burn. <laughs> oh, toasted. Okay, that is really good, actually. I take that back. All right, but you can't grill every sandwich. You're telling me every time you go to make a fucking sandwich, you go to you go to the kitchen. You're like, oh, it's 3 a.m. I need to eat something real quick. And you grill that shit? I'm too lazy for that. I will literally, sometimes I don't even want to make the fucking sandwich. I'll ball up a piece of bread and put that in my mouth and eat that. And when I'm saying I grew up poor, I grew up poor, poor. That was dinner sometimes. <laughs> no, me, no, me too. Me too. But, but, but I, at least I added some fucking like essence of flavor by fucking grilling it or toasting it. Nah, you ball it up and you turn it into a you say okay this is a biscuit you you make believe i'm eating imagination for dinner baby <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> bro the, when i was a little kid most of the uh, times i got caught like at fucking 3 a.m like you know fucking cooking shit it was because like i i always had to toast my bread <laughs> and i would just hear like fucking footsteps like boom 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 and i was like uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. I imagine like a, a, a little tiny squat purple bird just going, oh, <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I look up, like, hi, mom, <laughs> <laughs> just grapples you in the way where it's like very cartoony and the bird just kind of squishes between the fingers in between. <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my eyes just pop out. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. All right. Good shit. Right. Good shit. Uh, as far good as uh, shit. we were on nails and as far as nails go, mm. did you ask about anything else? Did I missed something. 
No, that's, that's, that's pretty much, that's the end of the question, which also does lead me out to the other question, since we talked that you dabbled into, you know, the good old art of cooking, the art of cuisine. Yeah, but sure. But I have a question that is the complete opposite. If you oh, could okay. choose to take a hobby or a skill that you have, like, never even thought about, like, dabbling into, but you thought, oh, this will be really be cool, like, you know, like, freaking, like, like, you know, like, like, weapon smithing, like, you know, like, like, for example, like, something that I really want to, like, uh, dabble into is, like, actually woodcrafting. What would that yeah, be? Yeah, that'd be cool. Remember, you're not allowed to have anything you tried out before. This has to be, uh -huh. like, anything that you have always thought of wanting to do, but you never had, like, the initiative to take it. Why did you choose that particular thing, and why do you think it will be fun to do? Well, I think weaponsmithing is definitely on mm -hmm, that list. Right? Literally. Blacksmithing, uh, dude. I would, I would want yeah. to try that, yeah. Um... Honestly, music's been on my mind a lot lately, Ooh. obviously, because of what we're doing. Um, but you already, would... already tried that, good sir, and I have a question well, about you uh, about that later, but go on. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I would be tempted to say, like, uh, singing or music in general, mm -hmm. but technically you're right. I have dabbled in those, but I've never dabbled in music production, so that's mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but... I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, if you ever just want to learn something, you can let me know. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll, 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 you can take on the illustrious ruse at your pupil one day. Well. Absolutely, dude. I collected all a fucking Vanguard to make duets with. Don't, don't, don't think you guys are not on the fucking list. I'm not afraid <laughs> uh, uh, to take a stand. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but uh, aside from the obvious, which is music, which I think it's beautiful by itself, what is something like probably like. Something we would have never expected you have an interest on. Piano. <laughs> oh, shit! Piano? Okay. Yeah, I grew up being told I had good piano fingers, and I've never learned to read music or play mm. music or any instrument, so I'd be interested in Ooh. that. But uh, If we stepped away from piano, I do think it's a very beautiful instrument. I it love is. the sound a lot. It is, dude. There's, like, piano is literally the foundation to, like, everything. Like, you can, mm. if you if you know how to play piano... You literally have unlocked the ma like the freaking like the like the like the master of, of music. You literally unlocked like all the mysteries of like freaking music. Like all your your skill tree will literally unlock to <laughs> everything. Because like I don't know I don't know if you actually have noticed, but like freaking like piano rolls are a thing, which you can actually code that into whichever instrument you want to. I don't know what that means, but yeah, sure. I'll teach you about that later. But yeah, go uh, on. You have beautiful mm -hmm. piano fingers. Oh, I was going to say aside from music and just stepping completely mm. away from music so I don't like cheat and say mm -hmm. music even though I've technically dabbled in that. Um, Shit, I mean, there's a lot of things I've technically dabbled in that I never pushed very far, that I ran oh. out of time to work on that I would want to get back to, like coding or art, but Ooh. those I've already done those technically, so something completely raw I haven't done. Mm. Uh, I guess... Traveling, yeah, traveling. Oh, so like okay. backpacking, camping, really getting to like other places. Like I, I, I've traveled, but I've never ever been outside the place I was born in, really. So I want to go to other lands and see like new cultures and stuff like that. It's something I've always been really kind of desperate to do. Like mm. I've really wanted to get away from the place where I was, uh, where I was raised for like mm. my whole life. So like you know, and life, life and money could continually get in the way. Right. But at some point, I do intend to break out and go to other places. Like I want to see West Elysium and uh, you know Zinakuni and other places maybe that we haven't discovered yet or talked about. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. You know what's you know what what's my my thing I have never like 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 dabbled into, but I've always yeah, been yeah, really interested. Me. Beekeeping. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay, ant keeping, ant keeping for me. Sorry, You're right? Yeah, bee yeah, keeping. bee yeah. keeping, bro, dude. Holy shit, that is like something I've always wanted to, like, you know, like, like, you know, dabble into because it just looks so fucking nice. Like the whole fact that you can have, like, you know, like bee colonies and stuff like that, kind of like take care of them. Also, something really funny that I see is that beekeepers have like, um. Uh, videos where they slap the shit out of hornets <laughs> so they don't hurt their bees, <laughs> and I just think that's like so fucking funny. <laughs> Sit down, hornet. Bah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but ant keeping though, why? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to take a sip of this delicious tea. Don't worry. For me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever watched a YouTube channel called um, Ants Canada? I think I have. Don't they have like those like gel like freaking like enclosures? They're like blue. Mm -hmm. No, actually, they do, mm. like, all naturalistic Oh, okay, okay, okay. You, okay, might, you yeah. might know it if I... Here, let me give you the voice, if you've heard this before. Mm. Welcome, 
AC family. Oh, wait! Today, on our channel, you will never imagine what the Red Queen got up to when she was attacked <laughs> by Huntsman Spiders. Damn! So it's, it's that the guy, guy. Yeah, it's the guy that has the vivariums, right? Yeah, 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 he's, yeah, he's yeah, got, yeah, like, yeah, multiple yeah. Multiple tanks and stuff. Super cool. He even made like an Amazonian, Amazonian rainforest, like mm. one with like a river in it with actual like yeah, like a bunch of different fish and like uh, grill and stuff that's in there. So sick, and dude. it was so cool. Uh, but I don't know. He just got me really interested in uh, ant keeping, and I've always like kind of liked bugs a lot. I just think yeah. they're really kind of fascinating little creatures. They are so, very yeah, uncomprehended, like super uncomprehended, because people are so scared of them, but for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bugs are really, really unknown, like really unstudied. Like, there's a ton of bugs, and we really don't understand a lot of them. Like, I, I was looking up like um, spiracles, like how bugs, like ants and stuff, breathe out of the side of their like bodies because they have like little holes mm. in the side of their bodies, and they actually like, I believe, if I'm correct, don't mm. have lungs. Like the the air goes in naturally and comes out naturally. Mm. Um, but it's not well studied because people just don't study bugs enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really don't. They, they, I mean, honestly, a lot of like Earth's history can actually be like phalanchal, like, you know, like small, like creatures, like insects, mm. like, like the fact how they have survived, how they have evolved, how they have developed, because at the end of the day, like they're literally like, they might be, I mean, in a certain way at the bottom of the food chain, but they are actually responsible for a lot of like, you know, like, um, uh, biological and like ecosystem like functions. Oh, yeah. And I mean, they're at the air quotes mm -hmm. bottom of the food chain, but like they're like 80% of biomass on Earth or something. <laughs> no, yeah, they really are. Uh, so, <laughs> like, if you balled up all the bugs and all the people, I promise you the bugs would win. Mm -hmm, exactly, dude. Like, they, they will mm -hmm. just like morph into like one big giant beetle. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a post earlier about like a, a stag beetle backpack, and they're like, girls only oh, want one dude, thing. And it's I this. saw and that. I'm like, I'm I girls. want that. I'm girls. I'm girls. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh my god, those are so freaking cute, dude. Like, I love little tiny backpacks, especially if they if they have the shape of something. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I think they're yeah, really, really man. cute. Bugs are so cool. Bugs are cool. I, I like bugs. I like lizards. I used to have a, a ball python. I really oh, like loved. Um, I love reptiles. Y'all, reptiles are so sick. I love uh, reptiles. I'm not as versed at reptiles. I probably know more about dinosaurs than I do reptiles, but I like <laughs> reptiles a lot. Dude, reptiles, my, literally, like, my ideal pet ever that I, I dream to have is an iguana. But they oh, are such, a, uh, they oh, are a, such a responsibility. And yes, they are very hostile. <laughs> they are so fucking mean. assholes. But, you know... I think they look very dapper, especially when they're all chunky and they're all just like <laughs> leading there. <laughs> You're the type of motherfucker that would own a pug. <laughs> <laughs> he looks dapper, the little chunky guy. He looks very dapper. He will look very nice with a Hawaiian shirt. Let me tell you that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know, man. The, the the iguana we had as a kid, it was technically my older sister's, but uh, oh. it, was mean. it was mean as hell. It would get yeah. out of its cage in the middle of the night and my older sister would wake up with this iguana, iguana just sitting there staring yeah. at her. Like sitting on her, like sit, like laying on her torso or whatever. It would always wait until my sister woke up and then whip her in the fucking face. Oh my god, <laughs> they are very territorial. So mm -hmm. like maybe maybe the iguana felt like a you know the, like your sister wasn't trapped. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I don't know. It was a little dick though. I hated that little thing. I mean I I loved it because mm. I was like oh you're cool to look at, but it would try to nip at you and hit you with its tail constantly. Yeah, little bastard. That's why I don't have them. I think probably like one day if everything goes well. The reptile pet that seems more doable for me will be a Tokei Gecko. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the looks... snake. My snake is really uh, nice. He would, I... Like, I kept him under my shirt when I was gaming, so I would sit there and he would just like wrap around my torso and const like air quotes constrict around me, not mm. hard. But he was really long. He was like almost as tall as I am at that point. But life He's feeding, big. though. Life feeding. Yeah. That's like, oh, yeah. that's like that was so hard. Yeah. You can train them not to. Unfortunately, I had, uh, uh, you know, mm. I adopted this one from someone else, and they had already mm -hmm. got him used to live feeding. Right. So yeah, 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 yeah. He was stuck on it, but uh, usually you could feed feed them dead or frozen, depending. Yeah, it, it really depends on like how you like train them, how you condition them as well. I mean, some mm. of them prefer like uh, certain like you know types of food as well. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I think I think they're beautiful. Like, I don't know, man. Reptiles are just so like so uncomprehended as well. I hate how people villainize them. They're like, oh no, she ain't bad, and that makes me so upset. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, my dream pet, and I know I can't mm. have this, and I'm not saying I'm ever going to do this. I'm not being fucking Florida man here. But if I could, <laughs> and it would obey me, and I could love it, and we could cuddle, 
I'd get a fucking alligator. Oh, God, Dude! Alligator. <laughs> That'd be so sick, so man. <laughs> just like uh, but casually, casually death rolling with your alligator. <laughs> yeah! Just, you just, you, what, man, I used to, I grew up with like a lot of Great Danes, and I used mm. to wrestle the shit out of them, even though they were like twice my fucking size, because I was right. a little, little guy for a long time. Mm. Uh, man, to wrestle an alligator would be so fun if it didn't bite my hands off. <laughs> yeah, if it didn't just like grab your arm and whoopsies, spin! <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> mm. I think, ah, uh, man, man, imagine being a Florida man. <laughs> uh, no, well, then I feel like I could own an alligator vicariously. Like, no, it's not my alligator, but it sneaks into my pool and eats, right, like, yeah, you know, yeah. neighborhood children if they try to get anywhere near my property. Like, I don't own the alligator, but like, you're, there's an alligator. <laughs> you're in a weird situation with the alligator where you don't know if it's yeah. your pad, but the, but, but <laughs> the, the situation. The, yeah, but, but the alligator's like, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like he's my friend, but I'm just there for the food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then sometimes, <laughs> maybe when the alligator's not paying attention, I sneak up and I pet it a little bit, and then I <laughs> yeah. run. You know? But then the alligator's like, wait, I kind of like that. Exactly. Maybe I give him a little brush <laughs> behind the head, spritz him with a hose. Yeah, here you go, bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that will be fucking sick, dude. Oh, Hell reptiles yeah. are so sick. I can literally talk about reptiles the whole fucking day. <laughs> reptiles are sick. I do love reptiles. <laughs> Except for Gerard. That tasteless gecko can go. <laughs> He's okay. Well, he's okay. He's, he's, he's okay most of the time. Well, you know, he's about as tolerable as Goldie and Octavio and you, which is to say, barely. <laughs> <laughs> I have a soft spot for him. I mined Cobblestone for an hour. <laughs> oh, that's true. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I understand. You, you've got like a workplace bond with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we bonded over the Cobblestone farm. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> all right here comes my next question and it's kind of <laughs> funny because like all the questions that i have prepared for you you kind of have mentioned them because they just come up so naturally from you but i don't know if the viewers are aware but we are in the presence of a newly made warriors cat appreciator <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah go for it yeah yeah what's the question <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know very little about the series, right? But mm. I think this new hobby of yours is very fascinating. Since it's fresh in your head, and it's probably like the most like recent memory of like any media you probably have right now. And okay. even though my knowledge is very limited about it, I fortunately and unfortunately <laughs> have seen the fandom in the internet. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's why it took me so long to get here and read these. <laughs> To know what the cats are basically in these books, you know, they're basically part of clans, right? They have like little groups and everything. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you, what clan would HQ, Vanguard, and Armies be in? And also, second, I made Octavia do a kin dog breed list, all right? For all the yeah, whole I remember he said I was a pug, members. you little bastard boy. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm not a pug. That's, that's unethical breeding. I don't even <laughs> believe in pugs. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to put you in the spot, dude. I gotta put you in the okay. same. You know, put you in the same hell. I gotta make you go through the same hell. Starting mm -hmm. off with HQ. What are the eight Tempest member War Cat names? And then do uh, Armis. I do have to make a quick disclaimer. I, I think right. pugs are adorable. I like pugs. Pugs are really pug, cute. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But man, I got you. Got to breed them with better nasal cavities, guys. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Come, come on. on. You guys, you got, you got to pinch your nose a little bit. Then that's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you want, you want a little pinch, that's okay. But yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, these guys are turning into like itty bitty vampire bats with asthma problems. <laughs> <laughs> Man, felt <laughs> holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, uh, let's well, start with. Well, so, sorry, sorry. Yeah. The question was HQ Vanguard and Armis. What clans are they clans. belong to? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First question is what clans they belong to. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna preface this by saying the All first right. arc of warrior cats as far as i know has six mm -hmm. books in it and i only just finished book three and i haven't picked up four yet um mm -hmm. i kind of speed read them uh <laughs> that's uh, that's actually sick dude i don't know how you can do that <laughs> uh well that's the power of undiagnosed no <laughs> <laughs> that's the power of hyperfixating i mean uh uh <laughs> Felt <laughs> me reading wikis of everything I have a special interest on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> um, no, I can't say that. Uh, but uh, mm. on the top of my head, I would say that uh, HQ would probably be Thunder Clan. I think VG would be uh, okay. VG would probably be Wind Clan, and I think Ooh. Armis would be Shadow Clan. Oh, yeah. 
uh, why? Can you give us a small, like, two-word description of why you have those, uh... Yeah, so Thunder Clan's kind of like, mm -hmm. A, the first clan you're introduced to in the books, and they're the clan that kind of, like, keeps every other clan not in line, like, through violence necessarily. Like, I mm. mean, they're still, like, they have the same foibles and fallacies as the other clans, mm. uh, but in a lot of ways, they're the voice of reason uh, in their gatherings. Uh, where Wind Clan is sort of like this flighty clan that lives in, like, an area that's really important to the world and is, like, central, central, central to, like, an important... Um, touchstone artifact that the cats mm. all revere to a degree so people have to travel through wind clan to get to it but wind clan itself is kind of distant and aloof uh much like xena Cooney, i imagine mm. um and then shadow clan is kind of this sort of like swampy nasty wrapped in mystery Ooh. kind of nobody wants to be there bad area Okay. Um, uh, everybody stinks real bad there. <laughs> so, like, yeah, that's harmless, baby. Uh, nobody wants to be there, and everything smells funny. No. <laughs> yeah, stinky boys, am I right? <laughs> fishy, fishy fish, making it stinky, as Curtis Connor might say. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but dude, I'm so happy you're a Curtis Connor enjoyer. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Fuck yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I, see. Uh, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. But, but. Uh, as for giving each of us warrior cat names, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, a good VTuber never reveals his secrets, and I'm kind of planning on deep diving that a little later once I finish Ooh. the novel, so I'm gonna wait on that, but, uh, how, hmm, how about, how about, mm. uh, to make up for that, how about I bring up our shared trauma when we trauma bonded, you and I, uh, and, uh, I'll ask you, what class spec do you think you and I would be in homeschool? <sighs> Oh no! I look for first of all. I look forward to it. I can't wait for, for you to deep dive into the freaking um, uh, into the in, <laughs> God. Sorry, I'm I'm I'm, I'm like I'm like I, I'm like stun locked by the question you just fucking asked me. <laughs> <laughs> Cla <Good. laughs> class, class, Jesus Christ! You're welcome. Oh my god, uh, I don't really remember much about it, honestly, because it was like such a long time ago. Like, you know, oh. th this is like literally a fucking like media that has been like, you know, it's it, it, it's it's long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, aren't like class specs like, you know, like page seer self? Yeah, yeah, so like that's that. your class. And then the aspect is things like breath or time or. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. All right, for you, right? Mm. Okay, okay. For you, I'm gonna be a little bit like, I gotta be a little bit too obvious, but I think you really go into the mage class spec. Oh, mage! That isn't obvious. Yeah, actually. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Mage. Okay, interesting. Go for it. Yeah. Cool. Mage, 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 mage. What, mm -hmm. what would you, what would your king assign me to? What class spec do you think I go with? <laughs> I think you would be a prince of rage. A Prince of Rage? Okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah. okay. I think we're probably both of Rage then. You're gonna be a Mage of Rage and I'll be a Prince of Rage. Oh, okay. I would have given myself Knight of Doom, but I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I think we had that, that, that similar, like, you know, like the common, <laughs> common trait. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> Man, holy shit, dude. It was fucking crazy when I, like, I found out you fucking, like, <laughs> stop. That was my that was my great filter. I said I'm gonna debut and I'm gonna say this and, and I'm gonna leave half of the people <laughs> watching and that's totally okay with me. And my manager's like, "You sure about that?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fucking sure about that." I ain't no my, my mama <laughs> did not raise no. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to pull up uh I want to pull up the analytics of your debut to see. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that weird spike right there at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, it's been divisive Jeez. ever since, and I don't mind. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder what happened. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. This motherfucker's not afraid to say any of the cringe shit he likes. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm cringe, and I'm free. free. <laughs> don't kill the part that, 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 that is cringe. Kill the part that cringes. <laughs> exactly. That is me, bro. That's literally me. That's how I live my life. <laughs> Hell yeah. Speaking of traits, though. Speaking of traits, here comes my next question, which is, you can respond to this however you want. I will not control the lexicon you respond to this with, but uh, okay. this is probably the most important question in this interview. Don't ask me why, but mm, why? Crimson Ruse. Why? 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 Give me your five buzzwords that you would use to describe yourself or your essence. Thinking of a Tinder bio. Let me give you an example. Sorry, think that's what? She's 22, <laughs> rapper, 
<laughs> Foodie, Wanderlust, Vibes. What will be your five <laughs> buzzwords that you would describe yourself with? In the context of a Tinder bio? Your, your Tinder bio, let's say, similar Isn't to that a like Tinder a dating bio. app? Something like that. Do you want to hear the ones your brothers picked? Yeah, sure. As a refresher. No, you know what? I don't give a shit what they pay. All right, if it's in the context <laughs> of a dating app, my my words would be fucking what is it, five? No, you gotta be you, you gotta be truthful. You gotta be truthful, man. No, don't, don't just okay. give me that millionaire entrepreneur shit. Like we already got that with Gerard. You gotta be truthful. You gotta describe yourself uh, with these five buzzwords. Okay, in the context of a dating app, it would be <laughs> self-destructive, misanthropic, <laughs> ancient, nerd. Uh, that what is that's four. No, wait. You know what? I'm changing my words. If it's if it's five words exactly, yeah. my dating app would say it's small. Now go away. <laughs> no. Adjectives, adjectives, man, adjectives. Ah, fuck, uh, <laughs> fucking uh, hateful, bitter, uh, uh, hermit, uh, uh, <laughs> super old or super young, whichever makes you leave. Uh, uh, loser. <laughs> uh, uh, nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, me too. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a picture later. I'm gonna show okay. you, a, I'm gonna show you a picture later. <laughs> good, good. good, good. Okay. Oh my fucking god! Wait, so what was it? Hateful, uh, bitter, loser, nerd. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, I, go with uh, uh, it's small. Go, oh, wait, oh, small. Yeah, small works. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's small. I'm actually I'm five, uh, what's that? Five foot eleven versus six. I'm I'm five foot one. So oh my when I God. when I take off my shoes, I don't actually where my knees are on my model. That's how tall I am. I'm standing. Whoa, fake whoa, legs right whoa, now. whoa, model, <laughs> model. What's that? What's a, what's a model? Uh, my model. You know the cardboard standee they showed when they first debuted, man. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Because they were not they were not ready for the real deal, right? Yeah, duh. I mean, I, I wouldn't know about like being short or anything. Oh my god! Oh you know, my but... god! What are those? I really wouldn't know about that. I'll be real honest with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love your Nike kicks. You want to sing a song? Why <laughs> do buckle my, my shoe? Two, three, four. Buckle some, some more. Five, five six. six. Nike, Nike kicked! <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have showed me your feet, dumbass. No, nah, bro. <laughs> you want to see my plus two boots of ass? Oh, yeah, kicking? yeah, yeah. Show me, show check me. these bad boys out. Hold on. Let me get up on this table. Show me your Tims, bro. Show me your Tims. Oh. Oh, Holy check these suckers out. fuck! Damn! God damn! God damn. Look at those Tims! <laughs> I use those to stomp on assholes. Bro, you like the... Have you seen the Winnie the Pooh meme? With the big Tims? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. That's literally you, dude. <laughs> Zale. All right, all right, all right. You're welcome, Armada, by the way. I did God's work. I have That's captured... True. I have captured the the four profiles. I have captured the four... The four sacred texts. <laughs> what oh, four my sacred texts are those? Are you talking about my gripper champ? No, bro, bro. I'm talking about your, your Tinder profile. <laughs> Tell the other boys to get their grippers ready. We're going to the salon. <laughs> dude, we really need to all fucking, like, start, like, actually, like, painting our nails, dude. Like, what Hell the yeah. fuck? Like, it, like, I mean, I already do. Let's get it. I mean, me too. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I literally have my freaking acrylics and shit. <laughs> Ooh, I have really deep natural nail beds, to be fair. I mean, honestly, me too, dude. My fucking nails, oh, like, they, they grow, like, fucking crazy. I fucking, like, yeah. Sorry. My my hair, my nails, they literally grow like at a, a stupid like freaking rate. I'm it's like I'm freaking like Wolverine, but with like I feel you. What's it called? Um, what's what's the what's the freaking um adamantium? Uh, collagen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you're about Wolverine. Yeah. Why do you think my hair so messy? I just chopped that bad boy off. It's growing too bad. Like cha 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 cha. <laughs> <laughs> you could have with Zephyr. Yeah, fuck yeah, I do. I just, I'm like Zephyr. Just take a little mm -hmm. off the top, and then it's like. <laughs> 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 yeah. Speaking of the boy stuff, here comes yeah, another yeah. question. All right, here hey, comes man. another question. All right. Uh, you know, as silly as they are, they are a lot, and I can imagine you kind of have like a some sort of like you know responsibility feeling for them. 
Because at the end of the day, that's what makes Armas Armas. You know, you guys are a big close knit family. Mm hmm. What are the three things that you can always count on for the Armas boys having your back on? <laughs> but also, uh -huh. as a bonus, not only the boys are amazing people, they're amazing buddies to have. Mm -hmm. So you are. You're. Uh -huh. uh, you're, you're, you're so sick, dude. Ugh. Mm. Okay. But yeah, let's, let's let's start with that. What are what are three things that you can always count on the Armist boys? Uh, whew. um, three things I can always count on the Armist boys for. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. you know I'm not really good at counting on people for anything, but uh, if you're twisting my arm, yeah, um, I can. Oh, I can always count on. Goldie to be in our corner like no matter how wrong or right we are in a situation like if you ask him to help out with something he's just gonna help out if something's like going on uh GB will definitely jump in to help no matter what like no questions asked uh ride or die he's got your back mm. um and I guess he's just kind of a bleeding heart like that <laughs> <laughs> um as far as uh Gerard I think Gerard's someone that you can count on to act earnestly. Yeah, someone mm. you can count on to act earnestly, right? Like, right. I think that, like, people could see him as coming off, like, a little intense or maybe not thinking things through. Uh, but he acts almost entirely out of his heart, which, I mean, without mm. really, like, considering the consequences. And, I mean, mm. it gets him in a little trouble sometimes. But on the other hand, I mean, like, his heart's in the right place. And you can't really fault somebody for trying to do what they think is right. Mm. Um or I guess just acting on passion without really thinking things through enough. Right. Um, and for Octavio, I mean, Octavio comes off like a little distant, right? But um, mm -hmm. kind of like in his own world sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but I can count on him to be the first of all to betray us. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> no, <all right. laughs> nah, I, uh, I guess I'd say you could count on him to always be... He's willing to help out, like, this sounds like minor. It sounds like, oh, this isn't a big deal. But he's always willing to help out musically. And in, in, in the mm. idol uh, world, that's really big. Like, especially since I'm so new to it. Uh, he's mm -hmm. very forward with, like, giving me tips or pointing me in the right direction or explaining what something is or telling me, like, mm. something that it, basically a toddler should fucking know, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, whenever I have questions, he's help, He's he's willing to help, which is always, because I always have fucking questions. Uh, he even wrote our vocal uh, guides for Bloodhounds, actually. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, he wrote the guides that we worked off of to, like, understand, like, how we're supposed to sing it. I did that, too! For, yeah, for, for, yeah! For, for the Beggar Boys! I Hell had Octavio! Yeah. <laughs> That's um, very nice of him. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. I mean, the, the, they all have their very special features. They all have their, you know, things they all excel at. And I'm very mm -hmm. happy, like, you know, you guys are basically a very close-knit group, like I mentioned. But, like I said, you as well, dude. Not only the boys are amazing buddies, you're also a very, very, very good person. And I think it's not only great, but also really helps you to step back and basically recognize all the things you also contribute as well. So, <laughs> as a self-analysis trait, what are three traits you're proud of? Slash, things you know the boys can rely on you for. Uh... I man, you just want me to list only three tra <laughs> traits I'm proud of. There's so many. You're kind of I know. I, I, I know. There, I, 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 bro, <laughs> we, we we got the airtime and the freaking TV. Remember, it's just televised. You're like, oh, yeah, right. yeah, uh, yeah. They yeah, can always yeah. count on me to fuck up. No, I'm just <laughs> 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 to mess things. No. Um. Well, I guess it would be like a little too telling if I spoke about everything I do behind the scenes or mm. how I quietly guide the boys. So let's keep this at face value and say that i guess i'm the 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 meathead of the group so uh, <laughs> yeah. uh they can count on me to hit monsters yell at them for being idiots and always follow through if i'm gonna say i'm gonna do something i think that uh mm. if i have nothing else i'm very i have a i have a natural talent for reading people which means i have a natural mm. talent for being a very good liar so i think it's very important that once that is established and i'm upfront about that which i always am uh, mm. I never ever go back on my word to, because that's all I have at that point. Once everything's on the table and I've like dropped my hand and I'm playing with my hand, but I play with my hand face up. Uh, so to make sure that people can still trust me, I always do what I say I'm gonna do, no matter what. Mm -hmm. No, what's the other two? Th that's it. Hit monsters and yell at people for being idiots. 
That kind of falls into one category. No. Though. Like, that kind of falls into one category. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, you hit monsters. You're you're basically there for them. You're you're, you're kind of like their protector. Sure. Yeah. Give, give us that. one more. Give us one more. Be sappy, uh, man. Come on. They're good boys. Uh, sappy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, come on, come on, come on. Man, I guess sometimes I act like group counselor. I have a bad uh, habit. Not because I care, because I don't care. Mm. I just want to make sure this shit doesn't fall apart for my own self-interest because right. I'm inherently selfish. But yeah, I have a habit of checking in on the other boys and DMing them or calling them when I feel like they're stressed or having a bad time to make sure they're doing okay. Not because I give a shit, mm. because I don't give a shit, but because if they fuck up, then inherently the group fucks up. So yeah, there you go. Bad. I see, I mm. see, I see, I see, I see. Like I said, you're sort of kind of like the voice of reasoning as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I'm not murdering my own teammates or running off screaming into the distance or pretending I'm a solo act because I can't stand being around people, if I'm mm. forced into a group in a room, I will be the voice of reason, sure. And if I'm alone, I'll be a chaotic piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'll fit the mold you need me to be in. How's that sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're exactly like me. You're basically a social chameleon, you know? You mold yourself uh -huh. in, like, the situation you're in, and I think that's, you know... That's a really good like feature to have as a person, because you know, like not all the time you're going to be feeling some way, like mm -hmm. depending on what context you are on or what's the, like you know the severity of the situation. I think it's really good to like basically adapt yourself to it. Mm. So you see here, Hakitos, uh, <laughs> this is how you see the evidence of a child who grew up with far too much responsibility <laughs> on his shoulder. You can see that Haka felt like he had to be the caretaker and the one who was the voice of reason in every situation, making sure that emotionally his family and friends were stable around him. And it made him grow up too fast, so he's what you would call an old soul. That's our shared traumas. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. We, 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 have to fucking, we have to fucking hold hands on that one, dude. We gotta fucking hold hands on that one. <laughs> okay, Holy yeah, yeah. shit, Just god damn. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. We, we, we can actually fist bump. All right, right. Ready, 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 oh, ready, ready. Oh, shit, hold on. One, two, three, and... <clears throat> <laughs> oh shit! But, but it's also hands, man. What the oh, fuck? Okay, man? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, it's whole hands, whole hands, whole hands. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. hands. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna wash my knuckles in the blood of my enemies as soon as we're done here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go punch them. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love whenever you do your your freaking like National Geographic narrator like like voice. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. I love that shit. That thing makes me. I I, I make myself laugh with that stupid shit. I like Dude. that one. I like hmm. the. Uh, Actually, if I were being serious right now, I like that voice. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we actually hear more of your of your? I mean, would you call it voice acting? I think it's also it's it's really good voice acting. Would um, you give us okay. like three like your top three voices you love to make? <laughs> uh, mm. yeah. Uh, there's the uh, fresh okay. meat. Holy uh, like shit! All lot. right, okay. Uh, I like the. All right, guys. So if I if, if E <laughs> equals Minecraft squared over suck my, <laughs> uh, that one's fun. Um and uh, well, if I no, not that one. Um, like annoying saga. We gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, oh no, Rocky. We gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, those are fun. Those are fun. Uh, sure, we'll say those three. I've got a couple that I like doing, but those ones are, those ones are good. I had to ask, dude, because I've been really enjoying all the small voices you do. Like, honestly, like, I think out of, like, everyone, <laughs> like, you, Altair, and I basically make the most voices on stream. <laughs> I can't help it, really. I don't know what it... It's probably because I read a lot of, like, stories out loud. Do yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, those are Gerard, dude. That fucker's so good at oh, voice yeah. acting. God damn it. Yeah. Gerard like, would definitely be who mm. I call the voice actor. Like, I dabble because I've done, like, dungeon mastering and stuff like mm. that or read books to people, but I'm not, like, I've never never tried my hand at voice acting, so. Man. Holy shit. Armas is blessed. Look at all these fucking, like, voice actors they have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do the e-boy voice. I saw that. Fucking oh, my fucking God. What's the e-boy voice, even? Uh, 
you'll have to you'll have to subscribe to my tier five million uh to hear it sorry haka i haven't got it paid yet bro so, okay i'll tell you what if you promise me if you give me an iou i'll give you one e-boy <laughs> if, 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 you, if you put it on my tab if you put it on my tab i'll, I'll like all right okay uh <laughs> all right, put all right. Your uh give me something e-boy to say quick oh my fucking god um hey baby i noticed your discord night oh. fired uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay sorry uh, sorry <clears throat> Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, baby. I know your <laughs> Discord Nitro expired. Welcome into Daddy's stream. Oh, one second, kitten. I gotta mute the mic. Mom! I'll do the dishes in a second! God! <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm back. <laughs> 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 that's little bro that's me streaming <laughs> i'm like i'm like i'm like hey how's it going Akitos? are we having a great day one second my mom came into the room what is it mom <laughs> <laughs> jesus fucking <laughs> all right so you're the e-boy streamer got it under control oh my god no bro i wish dude i'm the dude i don't even know what the fuck i am <laughs> Ah, uh, that's all right. I'm I'm the uh fucking <laughs> bro. No, either it's okay. I, uh, I'm I a am... little scrungly bastard. How about that? Me too. Me too. Mm -hmm. I would say I I am the bastard streamer, but I am also the little, the little menace. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the I'm the little flea that annoys you, but you kind of grow an emotional attachment. You're like, oh, you know what? He's kind of cute after all. He might be annoying, but cute. I'm pokey. I'm pokey. Yeah, I'm I'm pokey. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude. The scrunkly. Oh my God. Scrunkly. Scrunkly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is Imademo? Oh my fucking God. So. <laughs> Hit me. Explain. Imademo is basically like. Uh, do you know Jujutsu Kaisen? Mm -mm. Oh, it's, I know of it. I know of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen basically has like this freaking um, like uh, opening that's like Imademo. But it's basically like. I don't know if you know Gojo. He makes like hand signs, bro. So, yeah, the white-haired guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was, when he yeah, he's was all like, over the internet. Yeah, when he was like, Yowaimo. He makes like the little like finger crossing shit. I, I, I was doing that like, because I was really drunk. I was very shit-faced like during a, a stream that I was doing. And I okay. kept on saying Yamaremo like every 10 seconds. That's fucking funny. Yamaremo. Yamaremo. It's so good. Hands on. Oh my Motherfuckers God. out here throwing out Naruto hand signs. Saying, Bro, saying yeah, else. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, my <laughs> fucking God. <laughs> Man, I love being a weeb. <laughs> I got to get more into it. I'm, I'm trying to watch more anime recently. I've been getting into... Um, I want to watch... I've watched two episodes of it, and I haven't mm. found time to watch more, but I want to watch uh, Free Run. Oh, And then I okay. want to watch... Um, probably some Jujutsu Kaisen. I really, it's been a long time since I've watched you know Shonen. You know, yeah, Sh Shonen is really good, but you know what also like I think you'll probably enjoy? You might like mm. Violet Evergarden. I actually watched Violet Evergarden. It was oh, pretty, you nice. It was okay, pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, I feel okay. like it tried sometimes a little too hard to tug at my heartstrings, and I kind of pull back against that naturally. Mm. But uh, I do think it was really good. It was touching, and it was cool world building. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get into the Delicious and Dungeon. Everybody keeps recommending me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that one seems really good. There's like mm -hmm. a lot of like, uh, isn't that like an isekai? I think it is, right? I don't um, know. Meshy, meshy dungeons, something like that. I, do, I think it might just be in the universe. I hope it's not an isekai, honestly. I, I want more shows that are just honestly oh, no, in your no. setting. Oh, it's it's just fantasy. Okay, see. Okay, I, that I'm in Okay, for. okay. I freak out because every time I fucking see a fantasy theme like fucking anime, I just think like, is this another isekai? Dude, <laughs> I know. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, 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 isekai, yeah, 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 yeah. If you haven't watched Grimgar, watch that. Oh, Grimgar, I heard about it. I heard it's pretty good. Yeah, the you first episode's a little... Mm. Um, tropey just to like lure in the audience and stuff and that's that's chill i mean it's funny once in a while mm. uh, for its own merit but but it's writing gets pretty interesting in the way it deals with um how people would deal with the emotional trauma of being mm. isekai uh while oh not knowing God. what happened yeah damn okay okay that's that's actually a really good one it actually does like twist like the whole like isekai thing you know yeah yeah, yeah plus yeah, they have yeah, a character yeah. who's just a little loud ass at and i'm like all right let's go baby it's uh his name's ronta he's a little dick <laughs> it's literally me for real for real <laughs> it's like me for real for real everybody keeps saying i'm like uh what's that fucking deku who's that character in my hero uh, ba bakugo oh bakugo that's the name yeah bakugo <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, kinda. I can see it. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Is this because I laugh when I fight? Is this because I <laughs> cackle when I'm in combat? <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. Is he... <laughs> 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 Never mind. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I was gonna reference a freaking meme from Cedar Cooney, but you probably you probably won't get it. But I'll show it I to probably. you. I'll, I'll show it to you later. <laughs> all right, deal, deal. <laughs> all right, all right. Actually, before we wrap up this beautiful interview, dude. Honestly, fuck, it's been such a blast. Uh, like, I, yeah. I, first of all, let me thank you so much, so 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 fucking much for literally like taking the time to be in my interview. It yeah, really means course. a lot. It has been super super fun. And uh, it's just really exciting to, you know, get to, like, know you guys more. Just, you know, basically deep dive into, like, your emotional trauma. But also deep dive into, like, you know, just basically showcase a side that we really don't see from you guys a lot. So I, I don't it's have really emotional good. trauma. I'm super neurotypical. I'm so normal. Oh, yeah, me too, bro. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, also, oh, 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 oh my god. Yeah, hold up. My magical hack. Ah! My magical hack. Just you wait. I'm about to summon... The most beautiful man you have ever seen today, aside from me, of course, in this exact right moment. Just give me give me some time to to channel my inner Ikemen energy as we are about to make him appear in a short amount of time. <sighs> you see, oh, Abracadabra. Uh, my Abra's <laughs> being Kadabra <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> Whoa. He's gonna appear soon. Ugh, just give it's me some time. Ah, I'm totally am, appearing. Whoa, That's a real thing. Yeah, yeah, I am channeling him right now. Give me. I feel all of my atoms give me. growing back together. Whoa. Whoa, hold up. I think my I think my magic um wand is like out of like gas right now. Hold up one second. Oh, yeah, let me, you want to double check that? Uh, one second. It's. It, it, or have it, you tried it, turning it off and on? I usually try to do that, but don't worry. It's uh, just a little bit of like performance anxiety. It really, uh, it, it, you know, it, it really happens to the best of us. You know, like you, yeah, re yeah. you really shouldn't be embarrassed whenever your wand doesn't work. But that's okay. You know, like at the end of the day, what matters is your personality and you really how you use it. Mm -hmm. But oh, there he is. You see? Ah, yeah, 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 try, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. There we 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 go. You look really weird we right go. now uh, to me. Uh, I'm seeing a, a vision of you with beautiful glowing wings and a mask. Oh um, no, you're seeing me in my prime state. I'm hallucinating your, your true form. Don't worry, bro. As you are, uh, as I am being projected to you in my original form, I will give you my original form. Just you wait. Ooh, there we go. Now I see you for your true name, demon. This and is. I will know all that I possess. This is my real self. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, no way. No way, bro. Have you ever seen Club Wings with fucking Christmas? That's me, bro. Sure, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm kind of I'm kind of far away. Let me get closer. Yeah, to yeah, the yeah. Camera get, get, here. get close, bro. Get close. Get close. Sorry, me, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, let me hide my wings because I heard they could poke some eyes. Ah! <laughs> hey, those wings are sick. Why don't you ever rock those? Because they covered the whole ass game. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck your game. People are here for you, not your game. <laughs> Hey, who anyway, knows, thanks bro. for having me at the interview. This has been no, great. Fuck, Send the money to yeah, my uh, offshore bank account, please. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I, I just I just have to get the what's it called? The, the, the routing number. Oh, <laughs> right. Of course. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking God. All right. Before I actually ask you our last question, I actually do have a bit of a challenge for you. You see. OK. I heard. I'm more like a tiny little puppet or a puppeteer told me oh, or, sh or showed me a very nice duet of Dead World that you guys actually made. Ah, uh, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, first and all first, Octavio's work, mm, by the way. No, 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 no. First of all, of course, Octavia was amazing. Wonderful. Mm. But you, you, good sir, you, you, you were fucking fantastic with your rough singing. And your screamo. So thanks. That's actually my first scream I've ever done. Yeah, that, that, that's that's what I heard. That's that, that's what that, that's what I heard, dude. And I think it's really really good. You have lots of potential. So I wanted to give you a quick little screamo lesson. You know, maybe okay. like, maybe okay. like a little short one where you can basically channel all that inside anger that you have. Mm -hmm. You know. So let's go let's go ahead again and let me let me RP with you, right? Let me paint you a painting like Bob Ross says. 
Okay, paint me your painting. Let's get it. I'm, I'm gonna. Mm, all right, I'm, all right, I'm, right. I'm, I'm in. I'm all in. My <clears throat> audio is turned up. Fuck yeah! All right, close your eyes. Okay. Imagine what Gerard did to you. He ate all your turkey legs. Yeah, all fourteen that I was gonna have as a really all, light snack. All, all fourteen of those. And aside from wanting to kill him, your 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 first reaction probably was to grunt. He probably went like, ah. Yeah, like a uh Right, 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 right. Hmm. But you see, you see, when you grab that sound, uh, and you push it down to your diaphragm, and hmm. then you take it out, it creates something called natural distortion called false chord. Right? So what I want you to uh. do is I want you to grab that uh, and push it down. Uh okay. Do like um. a what? Like basically with your with your with your with your, with your voice. Go like a oh, oh. But now do that with a scream. Go like uh oh. uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So you, you see how that feels, right? Like the like the mouth of your stomach is really, really hard. The what? The mouth of your stomach? Oh, like tightening your abs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like your diaphragm, right? Oh. Now yeah. if you push that out, just go. Right? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck yeah! There we go. <laughs> all right. All right. Right. Now let me. So it's like the sound that the StarCraft units make. Basically. <laughs> basically. Basically. But bro, you gotta you gotta really you gotta really like channel you like your like inner emo there, you know? So you know, <laughs> okay. like yeah, okay. Right, you, you gotta be pissed. You so, gotta be angry. <laughs> you gotta be real angry. You gotta be real okay. pissed, right? You gotta okay, be I'm mad, I'm real, mad. real pissed. Oh I'm God! Oh God! All right! All right! Uh-huh. All right! Okay! Okay! You guys, all right! You gotta you got say, I'm so sick of this, right? I'm so sick of this! All right, all right, all right. Give me a try. Give me a try. Give me a try. All right, come on, go, 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 go. Uh, 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 one more time, maybe again. You're pissed. You're pissed. Uh-huh. You're what do you pissed. Sound like? All right. Ugh, you're so mad. You go uh, ahead and you say, "I'm so sick of this." No. Uh, 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 I'm so sick of this. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah. Woo! It's Dude. Dark. Anyway. It, fuck yeah! <laughs> fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You have no idea how happy it literally makes me to have like someone else that's like really interested in like learning how to scream. Hell yeah. Dude, I want to learn uh, hot music. You did so fucking good, man. Like you actually ah! have like you have a really 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 distinct tone that it's like very like it's 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 kind of like not on the lows, but it's like on the mids that it sounds really really fucking brutal. And I absolutely oh. love that. I think it's really really good. So, an- good. another exercise I'll teach you. It's called the bree. <laughs> The so, <laughs> it's the called the Bree, the Bree. Sorry, they're like oh, the freaking do, doing fireworks on my freaking like little like jungle. Sick. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear random explosions, that's what it is. I got but, you. I yeah, got yeah. You. All right. Now with the same energy, with a. <sighs> uh, <sighs> 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 right. Come on. You got. You got. You got. Put it down. Put it down. Like. <sighs> come on. Go. 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 Yeah. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Dude, you're doing so fucking sick! You're actually doing nice. really, really good! <laughs> you, you're literally... Oh, man, I'm so excited! <laughs> I think... I think if you really, 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 like, put a lot of practice into it, and you actually practice, like, at a really good, like, rhythm, you will become mm. a really good screamer, dude. And that'll be so sick. Maybe we should, like, duet, like, a fucking metal song together, dude. That'll be amazing. Hell yeah, we can hit up, uh, you know, or side note, real quick. Mm. You and Octavio got to do Master of Puppets, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know enough good metal songs that I would do with that. Hmm. Oh, bro, don't worry. You're, you're literally, sure you yeah, it. yeah, yeah, you I know. You're, you're talking to the expert here. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I was going to say we could do Kiss by a Rose, but no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking side, dude. <laughs> Man, we, we we should do like those like freaking like um, metal songs that they sound like freaking like whale sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's that sound? <laughs> but it's like oh. the, the, the whole fucking song is like. 
<laughs> oh, you're like the bloop. I got you. The bloop, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. The fucking bloop, dude. Oh, man. I fucking love that. I, I really love when people, like, really go, like, out of, like, you know, their fucking way to actually do, like, a lot of, like, like, sounds that are, like, legit, like, not, you know, not human. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When they make, like, weird fucking, like, vocal sounds. You know, I think a lot of, like, probably testing out voices and stuff for me started from me, um just trying to mm. mimic sounds around me like i'd hear a fucking car go by and i'd like want to make that sound so i'd like i mean i can't but i'd be like rrr, rrr, type of shit no you know yeah, I mean? yeah 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 <laughs> you so know what I, I was that little fucking idiot on the playground running around being like <laughs> you know what i also do I, I i love to like mimic the freaking like microwave sound i, I like harmonize oh, with, yeah. with the hum i'm like mm. <laughs> 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 it's fucking good, dude. I fucking love it. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> all right, all right. Last exercise for the lesson. Let me set you up here, all right? Oh, okay, okay, I'm ready. All right, let me set you up here, all right? All right, all right, all right. No music, no music, because we're getting fucking serious, right? All right. All right, all right, all right. You probably heard, like, this classic. Let yeah. the bodies hit the floor. Let the oh, bodies no. hit the floor. Oh, okay. Oh, the shit. Bodies. Okay, okay, all right. G give me your best floor. All right, ready? 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 Oh, ready? 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 All right, all right. Let me hear yours. Let me hear yours. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, uh. All right, go, 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 go. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, no. All right, listen, I, I just want to preface this with. Uh, okay. Okay. Never be afraid to try things you're uncomfortable with. And even Absolutely. if you fail, you should be not afraid to fail in public. Uh, it's Don't worry, point. bro. Don't Here worry, go, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let the bodies hit the floor. Okay. Let the bodies okay. hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, <wait>. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah, careful, careful, careful. Yeah. Screamo, whenever you, um, because right now what you're basically doing, it's kind of like a mixture of like fry and false court. It's basically oh. like, like similar to, to, to what I do. It does make you lightheaded when you actually like put a lot of pressure into it. Ooh. <laughs> but you did amazing, dude. Out. Fuck. No, it is. Literally, your diaphragm literally becomes like freaking solid. Oh. <laughs> That's, Fuck, how, that's how you yeah, worked out. Dude. Yeah, exactly. I think my calories off. <laughs> dude, me too. I overthink that a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You basically did it right. Like you you're actually like your technique is really, really solid. Like most of the people mm -hmm. that like try to like learn how to scream, they have a hard time with like, you know, actually switching into like what is like natural distortion and they usually use their throat. You actually do use your diaphragm, and I think that's very sick. You look oh. so pissed right now, by the way, bro. Why, why are we pissed? I'm very <laughs> angry all the time. Don't worry. Uh, I'm not uh, angry in my heart. Uh, you're just perceiving me as angry. Kind of like earlier, I perceived you as a god. Uh, oh, it should yeah, go yeah, away yeah, one true, day. True, don't true, worry. True. Don't worry. Don't worry, bro. It's uh, I, I was also born with a natural resting bitch face. <laughs> 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 no, dude, but fuck. You have no idea how happy it made me that someone, you know, like, like uh, aside from Olga Senpai, I'm actually getting really interested in, like, you know, like metal screams and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, one day we. I can... watched a lot of YouTube videos on it when I had to do that cover. <laughs> yeah. When I was like, "Can you help me with this?" I'm like, "Not really." Uh, he's like, "Uh, can you try?" I'm like, "Yep, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you sure." You always you you always start everything with trying, dude. Like seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. All right. <laughs> that was it's getting toasty good, in here now. <laughs> it's getting toasty. You good? I'll, I'll hit the floor song one day. I promise. I'll I'll, I'll let Bro. those bodies hit the floor hard. Fuck yeah, dude. That'll be amazing. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude. I'm I'm so excited. I want this to end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you've had a good time. Thank you for coming to my inner. Wait. Oh, holy shit. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Wake up, Aka. The accident was <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. So before we wrap this up, let's actually go ahead and wrap this up in a very nice Vespi fashion mm -hmm. with a little question that, you know, he asks everybody in their interviews, mm -hmm. which that is, why would you ask me? Like, what do you want to know about me? Fuck. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there uh, anything I you want to know about me? Uh, or you can ask me anything, basically. Ask me anything. AMA, bro. 
<laughs> okay. 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 Uh, you like music, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. What is the music people would least expect you to enjoy that you enjoy? Oh shit. Mmm. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I actually like. Um. There are multiple genres I actually do listen a lot. Honestly, to like study. I like to mm. study basically, like, you know, like the structure of it, like basically how it goes and how it flows. I do like um, Japanese uh, hip hop a lot. Okay. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like the Creepy Nuts is it's actually like one of the bands I have like been listening the most to. But mm. it's like something that people don't expect me to actually enjoy is actually lo fi. I Ooh, love yeah. listening to lo fi a lot. Ugh, it's so fucking good, dude. Like, I literally, like, I just shut down my brain. And I listen to lo-fi all the freaking time. And just like the, the little beatsies make me feel better, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever listen to any, uh, what is it? ED not EDM. Um, EDM is just electronic dance music. Mm. Uh, have you ever listened to, I don't know what genre it's called, but I've been listening to, when I go to sleep, I've been I've been listening to a lot of uh, Adrian Von Ziegler's uh, Celtic mix. But aside mm. from that, I've also been listening to a band. I think they're uh, they're called Carbon Based Lifeforms. They're mm -hmm. only YouTube recommended. They're pretty good. Are you like uh, Synthwave? I had something like synth lo-fi. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know how to describe it exactly. I would what's, call it trance. Trance. I think it's trance. Is the oh, word. trance. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, trance, I love trance. What's a, what's a good song from them so I can listen to them? Uh, Do you have any recommendations? I don't really know any song names for any bands. I barely know the band name. Dude, but me I, too. Oh, Interloper. <laughs> listen to Interloper. That's what it was. Interloper? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. If you can send me a link, that'll be amazing, dude. I would love to like discover new music. I, 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 I love listening to like new artists, which is why that's why I like about Spotify. Whenever mm -hmm. they make like, you know, like those lists for you based on the algorithm of what you listen, it's actually so fucking nice. It makes oh, me yeah, so yeah, happy. Yeah. <laughs> but now I ask the question back to you. What is the least expected genre of music that you listen to? Okay, so here's the thing. My tastes are um, normie, is what I would say. <laughs> Which is oh, to say, really? I to whatever okay. is like, typically recommended to me or popular. So if it's kind of presented to me, I'll probably listen to it. There's very few genres of music I'll genuinely tone, turn my nose up at. Mm. Like, for example, uh, a lot of, uh, one people really go to frequently, that they're like, I hate this genre, is country. And country, modern country, does suck. Bro, it's country like, goes hard. It, I would say modern country still sucks. Like if you're singing like, I like to fuck my tractor, <laughs> my dog's my best friend. Uh, that's kind of boring and saming. But if you talk, if you like scroll back a bit to when country was like starting, you know what I mean? Like uh, worker country where it's like, mm. uh, yeah, we need to uh, fuck rich people and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> my life is hell, but I'm going to push through that kind of shit. I'm like, all right, well, damn, well, this kind of goes hard. No like, offense, well, rich people. You're cool with me, but I'm just saying that the, like that era of country went hard. Right, right, right. Like the life don't matter. I got my tractor with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking right. further back. Life don't matter. I'm going to punch this fucking rail spike through the earth. <laughs> Like that. Mm. Fuck yeah, dude. Boom. I mean, Boom. honestly, some country music can be really fucking epic. It's like oh, really, yeah. really good shit. Yeah, but like, I like, you know, trance, EDM. Uh, I like electronic. Mm. I like lo-fi. I like fucking, what is it? Uh, <laughs> electro swing. Um, oh, electro like, swing uh, is good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking scat or whatever the fuck. Uh, oh ska, that's oh, right. Ska. <laughs> Ska's good. Uh, scat's not bad. <laughs> yeah, skip it. Yeah. Um, old techno is funny. Ooh, uh, okay. Because I heard that fucking Planet of the Bass song, and I was like, that goes hard. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, a little, a little rock, a little metal, a little rap, a little. Uh, th th so here's where I don't stray out of it. I typically don't listen to music from uh, in, in languages I don't know, but I want to mm. do that more often. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I'm a, I'm a whole ass encyclopedia for that. Hell yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. But you know what? You know what? You should also listen to. You should listen to Bossa Nova. It's very nice and comfy. Bossa Nova. I don't Bossa know if Bossa Nova. I've... It's really good. It's like nice, like acoustic, jazzy vibes. Like. Doom, 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 doom. Like, <laughs> like nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like the elevator music sort of deal. <laughs> oh, okay, it's really okay. good. It's really fucking good. I'm gonna yeah, send you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send you a couple recommendations. All right. Do what you want. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I, what do you mean I won't? I literally, dude. Do it. You, you should. I, you should ask Octavio. I sent him like fucking seventeen songs, and Perfect he was just me. like, "Wow, all of these are bangers." I'm like, "I know." 
<laughs> I know. I, I sent them. Of course. I know. Good. I send them. Of course they're good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to do good, with good. you. I'm going to do that with you, dude. Fuck yeah. All wow, right. Not bad. Not bad. Did we get through all our questions? Yeah. Uh, or how are we, we, did, we did. We did. I mean, we, we don't did, have to cut off. I don't did. care. It's, I'm, I'm down. I'll stick here no, all day. I, I actually do have a meeting, so we do have to. Oh, wrap it up. wow. Your meeting's more important than me, huh? <laughs> no, bro. No, bro. You, you see, listen, I, I have a couple of investors waiting for me on the on the great uh, Hakito table, and the Hakito oh. is uh, Hakito's frantically sending me messages like, hey, Haka, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> the empire yeah, yeah, is going yeah. down. But don't yeah, worry. It's okay. Uh, if I know anything about Age of Empires, you can always rebuild. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> all righty, dude. Once again, thank you so, 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 so much for coming to my interview. Seriously. It makes me really happy. Me. Jokes it aside. Makes me really <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. It's just a really good time. You know, it's just a very chill time. Just a really good, mm -hmm. like, you know, we're just here, like, really shooting the shit, getting to know you more. And it makes me really happy because I feel I know you guys more as, you know, people. Like, seriously. Like oh, this? Who's the best one? You, of course, of course. Uh, you, 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 of course. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't miss a, You missed one single beat. That's not bad, actually. I must have like, well, I can't pick. <laughs> no, bro, bro. Listen, listen I, I know what you want to hear. Let me tell you that. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Well, I think you're a suck up, you mm. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, but we could we could definitely hang after my, my meeting, dude. I would love to. Like seriously. Yeah. Like, you know, I'll you can literally like hit me up any fucking time you want. If I'm not sleeping, I'll be there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will say the same unless I am reading a book, playing a game, sleeping or streaming doing homework, streaming, uh, or anything that is not sitting still and thinking about it, because I probably won't check my messages. Do you know how many me meetings I've missed recently? <laughs> I know. Me too. <laughs> I'm brand new and I'm already missing multiple meetings. I'm like, ah shit. No. Sorry. I, I, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, dude. We're just going to bonk us a little bit. You know, it's not going to be that little, much. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. No, seriously, though. Like, uh, I'm, I'm so sad. This, uh, this basically, <laughs> you're, you're, you're the last interview. This basically concludes, like, the Arvis interviews. Like, seriously, dude, thank you so fucking much. Like, uh, well, don't be sad. I mean, you just invite us to 1v1 some other time. It counts true, as an interview if true, we're playing true. games. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, can, I, I, I can ask you more about, like, your your very uh, special interest about weapons. I want to know a bit more about that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. We can do that. And then when we do the Homestuck reading and we voice act the oh, whole thing, dude! I'll invite you. <laughs> I'm, I, 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 I call them um, Carcat and Talbros, okay? Okay, you can take Carcat and Talbros, and I'll take... Um, the other 75 characters. <laughs> Fuck okay? yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> good, 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 good. No, good. seriously, dude. Thank you so much for making this so special. And honestly, it really means a lot that, you know, like, uh, all the boys help me continue this beautiful tradition. So once again, thank you so, 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 so much. Well, thank you for carrying on the tradition and for, you know, trying to make everybody feel super welcome. I think the Absolutely. other boys definitely needed it. Um, me personally, uh, Keep your distance. Don't ever talk to me again. No, <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you for having me on. It's been a Absolutely, pleasure. Absolutely, dude. Uh, honestly, Anything you want to say to the audience on the way out? Honestly, I mean, uh, I want to thank you once again. Like, honestly, for being here. I thank all the boys for, you know, making this very special. And yeah. once again, thank you so much for being in Holo Stars. Like, the, <laughs> I like you guys fucking the serpent you guys you guys it makes me so happy that amazing people like you guys are part of this beautiful family so i just can't wait to you know build more memories together and just like see how everything goes and continue to just you know keep growing and growing and just becoming better friends over the time it makes me really happy i think this is the beginning of something really excellent fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely we should wrap this up with a beautiful Ultra stars, what do you think? An ultra stars, yeah. Fuck like yeah! Sure. All right, in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a count of three, we uh, go, three go, we go or three, three. I don't. I, right. hate, I, I hate saying go. <laughs> all right, all right. You hate the word go. Got it. You don't all like right, Sonic. All right, all right. No, I love Sonic, but I, I, I don't like the three, two, one, go because that's. Oh, four. okay, okay, okay. I just like the three, two, one. <laughs> I can right. derail you this entire night and keep it here, or we don't, can start the countdown. Don't worry, bro. I'm here. All, I mean technically not but i'm here all day after my meeting <laughs> ah, okay okay gotcha gotcha, gotcha. all righty righty did a cat a tree we're gonna go ahead and say a nice lots of stars okay all right i'm ready okay all righty in three two one lots of stars, lots of stars!
is. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much Woo! for coming, dude. Seriously. It makes me so happy. <laughs> it's been great. Genuinely, it, you're great to banter with. You're funny as hell. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. You too. <laughs> mm. Anything you want to say before you go? Uh, 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 oh, Armist collab tomorrow. We're playing Dead by Daylight. And oh, shit. Okay. My name is Crimson Roos. I'm Elysium's greatest monster hunter, and I am your least favorite idol. I do think it's wonderful to have you here. It's amazing to be a part of a group of so many talented, uh, inspiring people that uh, we can all look up to. It's great to have the other boys here. Um, you guys are all awesome. Uh, the people in my gen are awesome, and I will work to live up to the standard that you have set. So, yeah. Thanks for Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> All righty, all righty, all righty. Okay, I'll let you go. I'm going to go ahead and redirect to whoever is streaming. I'm not really sure who is streaming, but after my meeting, hit me up, dude. Let's, Hell yeah. let's, let's chat uh, some more. Let's, I might let's... have some homework, but I'll hit you up either way. Ah, Maybe after. bro, you can skip the homework, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just skip the meeting, skip the homework. <laughs> Heck I'll yeah. let you know. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> all righty, before I, before I let you go, I'm going to send you guys over to Flayon. He's currently playing Schoolgirls. I know that game really means a lot to him, so make sure to give him lots of love and give him lots of support. And once again, thank you so much for coming to the stream and have a wonderful day. Tomorrow, we will be doing uh, cooking tamales with actually Haka Mama and Haka Bro. And it's going to be really, really fun. So I hope you guys tune in and I'll catch you guys later. Haka la vista. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.